Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Looking at the Universe Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new Conversation Cheat Sheet, you'll learn words like star, planet, the moon, and much more. Second, the Daily Conversations Infographic eBook. You'll learn over 100 conversational phrases with this new PDF eBook. Download it now for free. Third, 15 love phrases for Valentine's Day. If you don't know any romantic phrases, then this bonus is for you. You'll learn to say romantic phrases like you're beautiful, I have a crush on you, and more. Fourth, can you talk about books in your target language? Learn how to say novel, fiction, fantasy, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. And fifth, 20 must-know words and phrases for taking tests. Learn how to say pass, fail, and much more with this quick one-minute lesson. Sixth, free audiobooks. Unlock our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to any device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, take the 12 month challenge and get 12 months of premium or premium plus at up to 45% off. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to learn a language in 2022. If you're planning to learn a language in 2022, then this episode is for you, especially if you want to finally succeed with your New Year's resolution, instead of failing or giving up in the next week or two. That's why today you'll discover, one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language, and two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. But first, if you're looking for some free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. Master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say common goals like read more, save money, and learn a language. Fourth, the Winter Words and Phrases Writing Workbook. You'll learn over 60 words and phrases for the winter and holiday season and practice writing them with this printable PDF writing workbook. Download it for free right now. Fifth, must know email words and phrases. Learn how to say email, reply, spam, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to learn a language in 2022. Part one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language. Every time you start a new language, you should start with one, goals, two, anchor points, three, grammar, four, reading. What are these four steps and why do you need them to succeed with language learning? Let's jump in. The first one is goals. Everything starts with a goal, but your goal itself can also lead you to failure if you don't set it the right way. So more specifically, you need to set small, measurable monthly goals instead of just, I want to learn a language and be fluent this year. We'll cover goals in the second part of this episode, so stay tuned. After goals, the second step is setting anchor points. What are anchor points? Imagine a small ship in the middle of a big lake. It's windy, lots of waves, and the ship is bobbing up and down, drifting all around. What would you use to stop the ship from drifting away? An anchor. And just like an anchor keeps the ship in place, anchor points keep you from drifting away from your language. 
So an anchor point is a connection to the language that keeps you attached to the language and motivated to learn the language. One great example is language school. Imagine you signed up and paid thousands of dollars up front. Paying that much would motivate you to make the most of your time there. It's also a big commitment, one that you can't easily back out of. And school dictates your schedule. You have to wake up early, you have to do homework. Your life revolves around the classes. And as such, language school and the language itself become anchor points that your life revolves around. Anchor points can also be family or a partner that speaks the language you're learning. You're around them, you're exposed to the language, so your motivation to learn gets a bit stronger. Buying a language learning program or textbook are also examples of good anchor points. You invested your hard-earned money, which means you're serious about learning. Plus, you want to make sure your investment doesn't go to waste, so you're more motivated. If you're wondering if you have any anchor points, you already have at least one. You're watching our lessons on YouTube. But the more anchor points you have, the stronger your motivation will be. So if you're into music or TV shows in your target language, those can serve as anchor points too. These are things that connect you to the language and add a bit of motivation to learn more, or at the very least, understand what you're watching or listening to. We covered goals and anchor points. What's next? The third step is you must have a good grasp of grammar of your native language. Now, you might wonder, if you're learning a new language, why focus on your native language? Well, as native speakers, the problem is we know what good grammar sounds like, but we can't explain how or why our language works the way it works. So if you don't have a good grasp of grammar, the backbone or the rules of a language, then you'll have a tough time learning a new language. You'll jump in and start learning words and phrases, but you'll never learn how to put them together and make sentences. That's a common problem beginners have. Now, if you already know the grammar of your native language, how do you apply that to your target language? For example, if you're an English speaker, and if you know that English sentences follow the subject, verb, object pattern, and if you know that languages have specific sentence patterns, then you'd go look at patterns. Then, you'd have a good idea of how to create your own sentences, instead of learning random words first. Finally, the fourth step is reading. Reading is good simply because you can do it anywhere, anytime, and without a teacher. It's a skill you can get started on, on day one, on your own. Reading also tends to spill over into other areas. The more you read, the more words and grammar rules you come across. So you boost your vocabulary and grammar, which can seep into speaking and listening. If you read out loud, you're practicing two skills at once. Now we've covered what you need, goals, anchor points, reading, and grammar. Setting anchor points, knowing your own grammar, and reading are simple enough, but how do you set goals that don't lead you to failure? Part two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. The goal that you set can make or break your language learning journey. So setting the right goals makes all the difference between success and failure. Just think about all of the common New Year's resolutions. What comes to mind? Goals like, I want to be fluent someday. I want to speak the language. I want to lose weight. I want to save more money. These big, vague goals often lead to failure because you simply have no idea how to approach the goal and you don't know what you're aiming for. Instead, your goals should be small, measurable, and monthly. For example, speak one minute of conversation by the end of the month. Learn 100 words by the end of the month. Finish chapter one of your language textbook by the end of the month. If you're using our program, finish 20 audio lessons by the end of the month. All of these are small and specific. One minute, 100 words, one chapter, 20 audio lessons. This means that they're easy to reach, unlike something vague like fluency. They're also measurable. You know when you reach one minute. You can check if you know all 100 words or if you finished all 20 lessons. If you aim for fluency, you won't know when you hit it. It's too vague and too big of a goal and it may take years to hit. Finally, all of these goals have a deadline, the end of the month. That would mean January 31st of this year. Deadlines give you a clear date to aim for, and without one, you'll forever be floating around without much progress. So set a deadline for the end of every month. So now that you know how to set small, measurable monthly goals, leave us a comment. What's your small, measurable monthly goal, and what's the deadline? So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a language in pairs. 
If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to learn your target language fast and understand native conversations, even if you're a beginner? In this learning strategies video, you'll learn all about the line-by-line -line dialogue, a powerful study tool that one, makes understanding conversations a breeze for beginners, and two, improves your speaking, listening, reading, and even writing skills. But first, if you don't yet have access to this tool and our lessons, just click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. One, what is the line-by-line -line dialogue exactly? The line-by-line -line dialogue is a study tool that makes absorbing conversations easier and you'll find it in all of our audio lessons inside of our learning program. It breaks down the conversations you learn in our lessons into individual lines so that you don't get overwhelmed. For each line, you get the text in the target language, the translations, and audio pronunciation. So you can listen to each line, read along, and understand every single word. And you can also use the line-by-line -line dialogue to perfect your speaking, reading, listening, and writing skills. How? Take a look. Two, how to improve your speaking skills. The easiest way to start speaking on your own is to shadow what you hear, meaning repeat what you hear as you play each line. Just press the audio icon next to each line to hear it and shadow along. Next, if you want to perfect your pronunciation, click on the microphone icon to start recording. Then record and compare your pronunciation with the native speakers. These tactics get you speaking in minutes, and if you apply these to every lesson, you'll be speaking a lot more of your target language. Next, here's how you master listening. Since the line-by-line -line dialogue is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation, you can listen to each line separately, as much as you want. Click on the audio icon to listen again and again, and review the script. Read along so that you can pick apart every word. That way, you can understand those fast, native-level conversations and never miss a word. Four, here's how you can practice reading. As you listen to the conversation, read along line by line. And if you don't know a word, click on the translations. They're right there in the line by line dialogue. You can even read with the Romanized script to help you sound out the words. And finally, here's how you can practice writing. Now, this advice is not something you'll hear very often because it's so simple. It's so simple that most people don't even think of doing it. Here it is. Just grab a pen and copy the lesson dialogue down into a notebook. The big benefit here is there's no writer's block. You don't have to worry about what to write. It's all there for you. So, if you want to learn your target language faster, understand native level conversations, and improve your speaking, listening, reading, and writing skills, then get free access to the line-by-line -line dialogue. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. You want to understand real-life conversations in your target language, right? Well, what if you could immerse yourself in conversations and listen to them as much as you want, like you would music, and start understanding and speaking more of your target language? Well, you can do all of this with the dialogue track. And in this video, you'll discover how the dialogue track, one, immerses you in the language, two, helps you memorize conversations easily, and three, gets you speaking more. But if you don't have access to our lessons in the dialogue track, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, what is the dialogue track? The dialogue track is a quick 10 to 30 second audio track with just the conversation of the lesson. Let's say you're doing a five minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word. And by the end, you know what it all means. Now, if you want to re-listen to that conversation without retaking the whole lesson, that's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation without any translations. So you can re-listen to the conversation or download to review at a later time. Second, here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you remember the conversations easier. 
Just listen on repeat, like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Second, you improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. Imagine you've finished 20 lessons and you downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. Create a playlist and play those 20 tracks as you're going about your day. You'll immerse yourself in the language and quickly improve your listening skills. Third, you start to speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. And as a result, you end up speaking more of your target language. So, if you want to start understanding conversations, take advantage of the dialogue tracks, which are available inside every one of our audio lessons. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say common goals like read more, save money, and learn a language. Fourth, the Winter Words and Phrases Writing Workbook. You'll learn over 60 words and phrases for the winter and holiday season and practice writing them with this printable PDF writing workbook. Download it for free right now. Fifth, must know email words and phrases. Learn how to say email, reply, spam, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you'll learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just 3 to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 55% off 24-month premium with our extended holiday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say common goals like read more, save money, and learn a language. Fourth, the Winter Words and Phrases Writing Workbook. You'll learn over 60 words and phrases for the winter and holiday season and practice writing them with this printable PDF writing workbook. Download it for free right now. Fifth, must know email words and phrases. Learn how to say email, reply, spam, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you'll learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just 3 to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 55% off 24-month premium with our extended holiday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is 
How to learn a language in 2022. If you're planning to learn a language in 2022, then this episode is for you, especially if you want to finally succeed with your New Year's resolution, instead of failing or giving up in the next week or two. That's why today you'll discover, one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language, and two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. How to learn a language in 2022. Part one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language. Every time you start a new language, you should start with one, goals, two, anchor points, three, grammar, four, reading. What are these four steps and why do you need them to succeed with language learning? Let's jump in. The first one is goals. Everything starts with a goal, but your goal itself can also lead you to failure if you don't set it the right way. So more specifically, you need to set small, measurable monthly goals instead of just, I wanna learn a language and be fluent this year. We'll cover goals in the second part of this episode, so stay tuned. After goals, the second step is setting anchor points. What are anchor points? Imagine a small ship in the middle of a big lake. It's windy, lots of waves, and the ship is bobbing up and down, drifting all around. What would you use to stop the ship from drifting away? An anchor. And just like an anchor keeps the ship in place, anchor points keep you from drifting away from your language. So an anchor point is a connection to the language that keeps you attached to the language and motivated to learn the language. One great example is language school. Imagine you signed up and paid thousands of dollars up front. Paying that much would motivate you to make the most of your time there. It's also a big commitment, one that you can't easily back out of. And school dictates your schedule. You have to wake up early, you have to do homework. Your life revolves around the classes. And as such, language school and the language itself become anchor points that your life revolves around. Anchor points can also be family or a partner that speaks the language you're learning. You're around them, you're exposed to the language, so your motivation to learn gets a bit stronger. Buying a language learning program or textbook are also examples of good anchor points. You invested your hard-earned money, which means you're serious about learning. Plus, you wanna make sure your investment doesn't go to waste, so you're more motivated. If you're wondering if you have any anchor points, you already have at least one. You're watching our lessons on YouTube, but the more anchor points you have, the stronger your motivation will be. So if you're into music or TV shows in your target language, those can serve as anchor points too. These are things that connect you to the language and add a bit of motivation to learn more, or at the very least, understand what you're watching or listening to. We covered goals and anchor points. What's next? The third step is you must have a good grasp of grammar of your native language. Now, you might wonder, if you're learning a new language, why focus on your native language? Well, as native speakers, the problem is we know what good grammar sounds like, but we can't explain how or why our language works the way it works. So if you don't have a good grasp of grammar, the backbone or the rules of a language, then you'll have a tough time learning a new language. You'll jump in and start learning words and phrases, but you'll never learn how to put them together and make sentences. That's a common problem beginners have. Now, if you already know the grammar of your native language, how do you apply that to your target language? For example, if you're an English speaker, and if you know that English sentences follow the subject, verb, object pattern, and if you know that languages have specific sentence patterns, then you'd go look at patterns. Then you'd have a good idea of how to create your own sentences instead of learning random words first. Finally, the fourth step is reading. Reading is good simply because you can do it anywhere, anytime, and without a teacher. It's a skill you can get started on, on day one, on your own. Reading also tends to spill over into other areas. The more you read, the more words and grammar rules you come across. So you boost your vocabulary and grammar, which can seep into speaking and listening. If you read out loud, you're practicing two skills at once. Now we've covered what you need, goals, anchor points, reading, and grammar. Setting anchor points, knowing your own grammar and reading are simple enough, but how do you set goals that don't lead you to failure? Part two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. The goal that you set can make or break your language learning journey. So setting the right goals makes all the difference between success and failure. Just think about all of the common New Year's resolutions. What comes to mind? 
goals like, I want to be fluent someday. I want to speak the language. I want to lose weight. I want to save more money. These big, vague goals often lead to failure because you simply have no idea how to approach the goal and you don't know what you're aiming for. Instead, your goals should be small, measurable, and monthly. For example, speak one minute of conversation by the end of the month. Learn 100 words by the end of the month. Finish chapter one of your language textbook by the end of the month. If you're using our program, finish 20 audio lessons by the end of the month. All of these are small and specific. One minute, 100 words, one chapter, 20 audio lessons. This means that they're easy to reach, unlike something vague like fluency. They're also measurable. You know when you reach one minute. You can check if you know all 100 words or if you finished all 20 lessons. If you aim for fluency, you won't know when you hit it. It's too vague and too big of a goal, and it may take years to hit. Finally, all of these goals have a deadline, the end of the month. That would mean January 31st of this year. Deadlines give you a clear date to aim for, and without one, you'll forever be floating around without much progress. So set a deadline for the end of every month. So now that you know how to set small, measurable monthly goals, leave us a comment. What's your small, measurable monthly goal? And what's the deadline? So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a language in pairs. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You want to learn a language and succeed, right? But where do you start and what do you do? There's grammar, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So much to do and no clear pathway to follow. And it can feel overwhelming, right? But what if you had a clear step-by-step -step path of lessons that taught you everything you needed to know and took you from absolute beginner to advanced and all you had to do was just follow the pathway? Well, you can do just that with our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. So, how does our recommended pathway help you learn the language fast? One, you get a clear starting point. With any goal you have, it's important to know where to start and what steps to take. Otherwise, you quickly get discouraged. So that's where our recommended pathway comes in. The pathway is simply a collection of audio and video lessons to learn with and assessments that test you on what you've learned in the last few lessons. So you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons laid out for you. Just follow the pathway, complete the lessons, do the assessments, and that's it. You'll find the recommended pathway on your dashboard and in the lesson library. Two, you get lessons that are right for you. When you sign up and set your learning level, whether absolute beginner, intermediate, or advanced, we give you a level-appropriate pathway. There's level one for absolute beginners, meaning you have no experience. Level two for beginners with some experience and all the way to level five for advanced learners. So your learning experience is tailored to you and where you are in your journey. Three, you can level up your language skills. Instead of wondering if you're improving, how? As you're going through the pathway, you're constantly learning with the lessons and you're constantly getting tested on what you've learned with our lessons and multiple choice and hand graded assessments. You'll find the assessments peppered throughout the pathway after every few lessons. And once you're finished with the level one, absolute beginner path, we give you beginner, level two, then intermediate, level three, and all the way up to advanced. Four, you can easily stay on track and reach your language goal. Sticking with goals can be hard, especially when you don't see a clear path from where you are to where you want to be. But with the recommended pathways, you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons. All the lessons are laid out in front of you. Just do one lesson a day and follow the path until the end. By the end of that pathway, you'll level up your language. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with language learning and if you just want one clear pathway to follow, take advantage of our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to learn your target language with our learning program? Wondering which plan to choose? 
Today, you'll discover how our Premium Plus plan helps you master the language with complete access to our self-learning program, as well as one-on-one -on -one access to your own teacher, language assessment, and ongoing assignments. But first, if you don't have access to our language program, sign up for an account right now. Just click the link in the description to get started. Now, how does the Premium Plus plan help you learn a language faster? One, you get complete access to our self-learning program, which includes audio and video lessons, app access, and over 15 premium study tools, such as my flashcards, the voice recorder, and line-by-line -line dialogue breakdowns. So, when you sign up and set your learning level, we give you a pathway of lessons that you can take anywhere, anytime with our app or on your computer, and extra study tools to help you master the lessons and retain the language. But if you're the type of person who learns better with a teacher, or if you just want to get feedback, then you can get just that with the Premium Plus plan. Two, with Premium Plus, you get one-on-one -on -one access to your own teacher, whom you can learn from at your own pace, anywhere, anytime, without being bound to the teacher's schedule. So when you log in, look for the My Teacher Messenger on the site or access it inside the app. With the My Teacher Messenger, you can interact as much as you want with your teacher and ask language questions, practice writing, and get corrections and feedback. You can even practice your speaking skills. Send recordings of yourself speaking to your teacher for feedback. In fact, one of the first things you'll have to do is write or record a self-introduction. Your teacher will send you corrections and advice on your pronunciation so that you can introduce yourself perfectly. Three, we personalize your learning experience based on your goals and needs. Just like with real language schools, the moment you join, you take an initial assessment test, which covers all areas, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The goal is to understand your strengths and weaknesses, so your teacher can design a personalized learning plan just for you. Four, you get ongoing assessments and assignments. It's hard to motivate and push yourself to improve when you're learning on your own. It's much easier when you have a teacher to motivate you. So that's why your teacher sends you weekly assignments, which you'll find in the My Teacher Messenger. Inside your recommended learning pathway, you'll also see multiple choice assessments and hand graded assessments, which test you on the words and grammar rules you've learned in the prior lessons. And the hand graded assessments are graded by real teachers, so you can get feedback on what you got wrong and how to improve. So if you wanna learn your target language faster with the Premium Plus plan, then click the link in the description right now. If you're learning the language with our lessons, did you know you also get a bonus study tool that lets you, one, absorb conversations by reading along, two, master grammar rules fast, and three, review everything without redoing the lesson. You can do this all with the lesson notes inside of our learning program. But if you don't have access to our program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. So what are the lesson notes? The lesson notes are simply the written version of our audio and video lessons. Inside, you'll find one, the dialogue and the translations, two, the grammar rules for that lesson and the explanations, three, the lesson's vocabulary in sample sentences, and four, cultural insights for that lesson. You'll find the lesson notes in every lesson. You can also download the notes as PDFs and print them out. And there are three reasons why this basic study tool makes learning the language super easy. First, you get native conversation and translations in writing. Imagine listening to a conversation in real life. Native speakers speak fast, so you might not understand every single word. But if you have a transcript to follow along with, you can easily pick every word apart and start understanding what the native speakers say. And since you learn a new conversation in every lesson, that's exactly why you get our lesson notes for every lesson, so you can quickly grasp and understand native speech. Second, you can get in-depth grammar explanations and even more examples. One of the best ways to learn grammar is to get used to it through practice and lots of exposure. And with our audio and video lessons, you'll get the grammar rules explained. But if you want the extra exposure, check out the lesson notes for the extra review and even more examples that are not available in the lesson. And three, you can quickly review what you've learned without retaking a lesson. 
Again, one of the best ways to pick up a language is through repeated exposure, which means reviewing what you've learned as much as possible. But if you don't want to retake a lesson, then you can quickly review the lesson's dialogue, grammar, and vocabulary with the lesson notes. So if you want to learn the language faster, understand native conversations, and review the lesson content with a quick glance, then take advantage of the lesson notes, which you'll find in every lesson inside of our learning program. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Using Opposites Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn common opposite adjectives like near and far, hot and cold, and grammar rules on how to use these words in a sentence. Second, the How to Say Goodbye PDF Writing Workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll pick up some common parting greetings and be able to practice writing them out. Third, can you talk about cars in your target language? Learn how to say words like tire, windshield, headlights, and more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know words and phrases for public transportation. Learn how to say ticket, bus, train, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fifth, the 10 habits of highly effective language learners. Wondering which habits will help you succeed with language learning? Then check out this free lesson. Sixth, Want the language learning app that gets you speaking? Download Innovative Language Learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock bite-sized audio and video lessons that teach you practical conversations and start speaking in minutes. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to make your language learning breakthrough this year and get full access to our complete learning program, then get 31% off Premium and Premium Plus with the breakthrough sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Czech listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Muž a žena spolu mluví. Formální rozhovor. Proč má muž spoždění? Omlouvám se za spoždění. Zase jste zaspal? Ne, dneska jsem se vzbudil v šest. Tak proč máte zase spoždění? No, nejel autobus. Aha, takže to je ten důvod. No, abych řekl pravdu, autobus měl spoždění jenom trochu, ale já jsem se spletl a vystoupil jsem na špatné zastávce. Musel jsem jít celou cestu pěšky. Proč má muž spoždění? Muž a žena spolu mluví. Formální rozhovor. Proč má muž spoždění? Omlouvám se za spoždění. Zase jste zaspal? Ne, dneska jsem se vzbudil v šest. Tak proč máte zase spoždění? No, nejel autobus. Aha, takže to je ten důvod. No, abych řekl pravdu, autobus měl spoždění jenom trochu, ale já jsem se spletl a vystoupil jsem na špatné zastávce. Musel jsem mít celou cestu pěšky. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is... 
how to learn a language two times faster by learning in pairs. And no, this does not mean learning with another person. But if you're looking for a way to learn more, improve faster, and do both input and output instead of just focusing on one language skill at a time, then this month's episode is for you. You'll discover, one, how learning in pairs gets you mastering more of the language, and two, how you can apply this tactic to your learning. So, how can you learn a language in pairs? Part one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation. First, what's learning in pairs exactly? Think about it. When we study a language, a lot of the time we focus on one skill at a time, right? For example, one day you'll focus on grammar, another day you'll focus on speaking. For the most part, we only focus on one skill at a time. Learning in pairs is combining two skills, pairing them up. For example, reading and writing, listening and speaking, and grammar and vocabulary, just like that. Why do this? Is there anything wrong with focusing on one thing at a time? Not at all. Any time you spend learning is time well spent, but learning in pairs has some advantages and can help you master a language faster. Number one, it's a better use of your time. For example, Instead of spending 10 minutes on a word list, you can spend five minutes reviewing and the other five minutes saying those words out loud. So that would involve vocabulary and speaking. So you improve two skills at the same time. And you end up remembering the words better because you're practicing them in two different ways. Number two, you're forced to do input and output. Input is where you take the language in, like reading or listening. And output, where you produce the language, like speaking or writing. That way, you get to practice what you learn instead of just passively taking it in. And passively taking things in isn't the best way to actually speak the language fluently. You need practice. So by including output, you're actively including practice into every session that you do. And number three, learning in pairs breaks up the monotony of doing one thing at a time. You might also wonder, do the skills have to be related? They can be, like listening and speaking or reading and writing but it's really up to you and what works for you. In the next part, we'll show you some examples of pairs and how to practice them with our program. But to recap, learning in pairs means pairing up two skills, like reading and writing, speaking and listening, grammar and writing, grammar and speaking, as well as other variations that you can come up with. So if you read for five minutes, you should also write for five minutes or speak for five minutes instead of reading for 10 minutes. Plus, words and grammar rules tend to stick better when you practice them in different ways. This is a learning tactic called interleaving. So, here's how you can learn in pairs with our learning program. Part two, how you can apply this tactic to your learning. First, for listening and speaking, take our audio and video lessons. Listen to the conversations and shadow along, or repeat what you hear. To make it easier, download the dialogue tracks, which give you just the conversations, and listen and shadow along with them. For reading and writing, you can read the lesson dialogue and then write it out. You can do this with the line-by-line -line dialogue or with our lesson notes. So reading and writing, listening and speaking, these are the most obvious pairs to do. You can also try grammar and speaking. For every grammar rule you learn in our lessons, spend an equal amount of time creating and saying example sentences out loud. For example, if you learned the potential form, I am able to, or I can, come up with and say lines like, I'm able to run fast, I am not able to run fast, I can jump, I cannot jump, and then say them out loud. You can also do this while pairing grammar and writing. For every rule you learn in our lessons, write out the example sentences. Next, you can also try vocabulary and speaking. Use our free vocabulary lists. Review them first for five minutes and then spend the next five minutes saying them out loud. You can also try listening and writing. If you're an intermediate or an advanced learner, listen to a lesson conversation and write it out as you hear it. Or if you want something easier, play our vocabulary builder lessons where you hear just the words and write them out. These are just a few examples of how to learn in pairs. Feel free to create other pairs that we haven't mentioned and let us know which ones you came up with and how they worked for you. Leave a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about 
the halfway point and how to keep going with language learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You want to learn a language and succeed, right? But where do you start and what do you do? There's grammar, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So much to do and no clear pathway to follow. And it can feel overwhelming, right? But what if you had a clear step-by-step -step path of lessons that taught you everything you needed to know and took you from absolute beginner to advanced and all you had to do was just follow the pathway? Well, you can do just that with our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. So, how does our recommended pathway help you learn the language fast? One, you get a clear starting point. With any goal you have, it's important to know where to start and what steps to take. Otherwise, you quickly get discouraged. So that's where our recommended pathway comes in. The pathway is simply a collection of audio and video lessons to learn with and assessments that test you on what you've learned in the last few lessons. So you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons laid out for you. Just follow the pathway, complete the lessons, do the assessments, and that's it. You'll find the recommended pathway on your dashboard and in the lesson library. Two, you get lessons that are right for you. When you sign up and set your learning level, whether absolute beginner, intermediate, or advanced, we give you a level-appropriate pathway. There's level one for absolute beginners, meaning you have no experience, level two for beginners with some experience, and all the way to level five for advanced learners. So your learning experience is tailored to you and where you are in your journey. Three, you can level up your language skills. Instead of wondering if you're improving, how? As you're going through the pathway, you're constantly learning with the lessons and you're constantly getting tested on what you've learned with our lessons and multiple choice and hand graded assessments. You'll find the assessments peppered throughout the pathway after every few lessons. And once you're finished with the level one, absolute beginner path, we give you beginner, level two, then intermediate, level three, and all the way up to advanced. Four, you can easily stay on track and reach your language goal. Sticking with goals can be hard, especially when you don't see a clear path from where you are to where you want to be. But with the recommended pathways, you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons. All the lessons are laid out in front of you. Just do one lesson a day and follow the path until the end. By the end of that pathway, you'll level up your language. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with language learning and if you just want one clear pathway to follow, take advantage of our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to speak more of your target language? Well, here's a completely free way to boost your vocabulary so you can understand more, speak more, and increase your fluency. In this quick guide, you'll learn all about our free vocabulary lists, how you can unlock hundreds of vocabulary lists that we give only to our users, and how you can learn new words and phrases fast without having to memorize for hours. But first, if you don't yet have access to our free vocabulary lists, be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link down in the description to sign up right now. So, how do these free vocabulary lists increase your fluency? Here's how. First, you can boost your vocabulary and range of expression with hundreds of vocabulary lists spanning all the must-know topics. Just look for the vocabulary lists inside the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. And there, you'll find lists for all kinds of topics, such as introducing yourself, talking about weather, the most common conversational phrases, holidays like Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, and much more. Second, you can practice your listening skills. By hearing the words at both native speed and at the slower half speed. Just click on the speaker icon next to each word to hear it at normal speed, and click a second time to hear the word at half speed, and you'll easily start understanding the word anytime you hear it. Third, you can practice your speaking skills. 
with the Voice Recorder, a premium feature inside the vocabulary lists. Just click on the microphone icon to record yourself saying the word or phrase. You can also listen to the native pronunciation and your own pronunciation side by side. That way, you can instantly hear how close you are to the native speaker and how to improve. Fourth, you can easily review the words with the vocabulary slideshow tool. Just click the Play Slideshow button at the top and sit back and listen to the words. You can also play the slideshow on loop until all of the words and phrases are stuck in your brain. And fifth, if you want to master these words even faster, you can save them to your word bank or study them with the flashcards. Both are premium features. The word bank is your personal collection of key vocabulary, where you can also create printable vocabulary study sheets. And with flashcards, you can drill the words and retain them forever, thanks to our smart spaced repetition system. So if you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more of your target language, then get access to our free vocabulary lists. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to easily remember new vocab and phrases? Fact. Everyone, beginners and advanced learners alike, forgets new words the first time they learn them. So what's the secret to remembering? What do smart learners do? They note them down and review them later. And you can do this with our study tool called the Word Bank, your extended brain for language learning. And in this video, you'll discover, one, how to save keywords and phrases, two, how to review the words so that you never forget them, and three, how to create your own printable vocabulary worksheets. But first, if you don't yet have access to this tool and our lessons, just click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. First, what is the Word Bank? The Word Bank is a premium study tool, and it's your personal language database, where you can save new words and phrases with a single click, review them all in one spot, and never forget them. Think of it as your extended brain for language learning. Look for the Word Bank in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site, or inside the menu in our app. So, how do you take full advantage of this powerful study tool? Two, how to save keywords and phrases. If you're taking a lesson and want to save key vocab, simply go to the vocabulary section, select the words you'd like to save, and click on Add to Word Bank. If you're using the core word list, like the 2,000 most common words, or the vocabulary lists, select the words, go to Add Selected Words, and click on Word Bank. Now, the words and phrases are saved in your word bank, and you can even organize the entries with labels, like adjectives, verbs, or phrases. Three, how to review the words. Once you save the words to your word bank, you can easily see all of them, all in one spot. With every word or phrase, you get the audio pronunciation, the translation, and even the related lessons where they're introduced. That way, you can review the words one by one. If you'd like to study words with flashcards, just click on Sync to Flashcard Deck. This will create a flashcard deck of your word bank entries for you to study. Four, how to create your own printable vocabulary worksheets. If you want to have physical worksheets and practice writing the words on paper, then click on Printer Friendly Version and print out your word bank entries. You can even export your word bank as PDF, CSV, or XML files. Remember, you can use this powerful feature with flashcards, lessons, and vocab lists, so take advantage right now. Save new words and phrases to your word bank with a single click. Review them all in one spot and never forget them with the word bank feature. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Using Opposites Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn common opposite adjectives like near and far, hot and cold, and grammar rules on how to use these words in a sentence. Second, the How to Say Goodbye PDF Writing Workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll pick up some common parting greetings and be able to practice writing them out. Third, can you talk about cars in your target language? Learn how to say words like tire, windshield, headlights, and more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know words and phrases for public transportation. 
Learn how to say ticket, bus, train, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fifth, the 10 habits of highly effective language learners. Wondering which habits will help you succeed with language learning? Then check out this free lesson. Sixth, want the language learning app that gets you speaking? Download innovative language learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock bite-sized audio and video lessons that teach you practical conversations and start speaking in minutes. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to make your language learning breakthrough this year and get full access to our complete learning program, then get 31% off Premium and Premium Plus with the breakthrough sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Czech listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Muž a žena spolu mluví. Formální rozhovor. Proč má muž spoždění? Omlouvám se za spoždění. Zase jste zaspal? Ne, dneska jsem se vzbudil v šest. Tak proč máte zase spoždění? No, nejel autobus. Aha, takže to je ten důvod. No, abych řekl pravdu, autobus měl spoždění jenom trochu, ale já jsem se spletl a vystoupil jsem na špatné zastávce. Musel jsem mít celou cestu pěšky. Proč má muž spoždění? Muž a žena spolu mluví. Formální rozhovor. Proč má muž spoždění? Omlouvám se za spoždění. Zase jste zaspal? Ne. Dneska jsem se vzbudil v šest. Tak proč máte zase spoždění? No, nejel autobus. Aha, takže to je ten důvod. No, abych řekl pravdu, autobus měl spoždění jenom trochu, ale já jsem se spletl a vystoupil jsem na špatné zastávce. Musel jsem mít celou cestu pěšky. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to learn a language two times faster by learning in pairs. And no, this does not mean learning with another person. But if you're looking for a way to learn more, improve faster, and do both input and output instead of just focusing on one language skill at a time, then this month's episode is for you. You'll discover, one, how learning in pairs gets you mastering more of the language, and two, how you can apply this tactic to your learning. So, how can you learn a language in pairs? Part one. How adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation. First, what's learning in pairs exactly? Think about it. When we study a language, a lot of the time we focus on one skill at a time, right? For example, one day you'll focus on grammar, another day you'll focus on speaking. For the most part, we only focus on one skill at a time. Learning in pairs is combining two skills, pairing them up. For example, reading and writing, listening and speaking, and grammar and vocabulary, just like that. Why do this? Is there anything wrong with focusing on one thing at a time? Not at all. Any time you spend learning is time well spent. 
but learning in pairs has some advantages and can help you master a language faster. Number one, it's a better use of your time. For example, instead of spending 10 minutes on a word list, you can spend five minutes reviewing and the other five minutes saying those words out loud. So that would involve vocabulary and speaking. So you improve two skills at the same time and you end up remembering the words better because you're practicing them in two different ways. Number two, you're forced to do input and output. Input is where you take the language in, like reading or listening, and output where you produce the language, like speaking or writing. That way, you get to practice what you learn instead of just passively taking it in. And passively taking things in isn't the best way to actually speak the language fluently. You need practice. So by including output, you're actively including practice into every session that you do. And number three, learning in pairs breaks up the monotony of doing one thing at a time. You might also wonder, do the skills have to be related? They can be, like listening and speaking or reading and writing, but it's really up to you and what works for you. In the next part, we'll show you some examples of pairs and how to practice them with our program. But to recap, learning in pairs means pairing up two skills, like reading and writing, speaking and listening, grammar and writing, grammar and speaking, as well as other variations that you can come up with. So if you read for five minutes, you should also write for five minutes or speak for five minutes instead of reading for 10 minutes. Plus, words and grammar rules tend to stick better when you practice them in different ways. This is a learning tactic called interleaving. So here's how you can learn in pairs with our learning program. Part two, how you can apply this tactic to your learning. First, for listening and speaking, take our audio and video lessons. Listen to the conversations and shadow along, or repeat what you hear. To make it easier, download the dialogue tracks, which give you just the conversations, and listen and shadow along with them. For reading and writing, you can read the lesson dialogue and then write it out. You can do this with the line-by-line -line dialogue or with our lesson notes. So, reading and writing, listening and speaking, these are the most obvious pairs to do. You can also try grammar and speaking. For every grammar rule you learn in our lessons, spend an equal amount of time creating and saying example sentences out loud. For example, if you learned the potential form, I am able to, or I can, come up with and say lines like, I'm able to run fast, I am not able to run fast, I can jump, I cannot jump, and then say them out loud. You can also do this while pairing grammar and writing. For every rule you learn in our lessons, write out the example sentences. Next, you can also try vocabulary and speaking. Use our free vocabulary lists. Review them first for five minutes and then spend the next five minutes saying them out loud. You can also try listening and writing. If you're an intermediate or an advanced learner, listen to a lesson conversation and write it out as you hear it. Or if you want something easier, Play our vocabulary builder lessons, where you hear just the words and write them out. These are just a few examples of how to learn in pairs. Feel free to create other pairs that we haven't mentioned, and let us know which ones you came up with and how they worked for you. Leave a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the halfway point and how to keep going with language learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye! You want to learn a language and succeed, right? But where do you start and what do you do? There's grammar, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So much to do and no clear pathway to follow. And it can feel overwhelming, right? But what if you had a clear step-by-step -step path of lessons that taught you everything you needed to know and took you from absolute beginner to advanced and all you had to do was just follow the pathway? Well, you can do just that with our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. So, how does our recommended pathway help you learn the language fast? One, you get a clear starting point. With any goal you have, it's important to know where to start and what steps to take. 
Otherwise, you quickly get discouraged. So that's where our recommended pathway comes in. The pathway is simply a collection of audio and video lessons to learn with, and assessments that test you on what you've learned in the last few lessons. So you get a clear, step-by-step -step pathway of lessons laid out for you. Just follow the pathway, complete the lessons, do the assessments, and that's it. You'll find the recommended pathway on your dashboard and in the lesson library. Two, you get lessons that are right for you. When you sign up and set your learning level, whether absolute beginner, intermediate, or advanced, we give you a level-appropriate pathway. There's level one for absolute beginners, meaning you have no experience, level two for beginners with some experience, and all the way to level five for advanced learners. So your learning experience is tailored to you and where you are in your journey. Three, you can level up your language skills. Instead of wondering if you're improving, how? As you're going through the pathway, you're constantly learning with the lessons, and you're constantly getting tested on what you've learned, with our lessons and multiple choice and hand-graded assessments. You'll find the assessments peppered throughout the pathway after every few lessons. And once you're finished with the level one, absolute beginner path, we give you beginner, level two, then intermediate, level three, and all the way up to advanced. Four, you can easily stay on track and reach your language goal. Sticking with goals can be hard, especially when you don't see a clear path from where you are to where you want to be. But with the recommended pathways, you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons. All the lessons are laid out in front of you. Just do one lesson a day and follow the path until the end. By the end of that pathway, you'll level up your language. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with language learning and if you just want one clear pathway to follow, Take advantage of our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to speak more of your target language? Well, here's a completely free way to boost your vocabulary so you can understand more, speak more, and increase your fluency. In this quick guide, you'll learn all about our free vocabulary lists, how you can unlock hundreds of vocabulary lists that we give only to our users, and how you can learn new words and phrases fast without having to memorize for hours. But first, if you don't yet have access to our free vocabulary lists, be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link down in the description to sign up right now. So, how do these free vocabulary lists increase your fluency? Here's how. First, you can boost your vocabulary and range of expression with hundreds of vocabulary lists spanning all the must-know topics. Just look for the vocabulary lists inside the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site, and there you'll find lists for all kinds of topics, such as introducing yourself, talking about weather, the most common conversational phrases, holidays like Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, and much more. Second, you can practice your listening skills. By hearing the words at both native speed and at the slower half speed. Just click on the speaker icon next to each word to hear it at normal speed, and click a second time to hear the word at half speed, and you'll easily start understanding the word anytime you hear it. Third, you can practice your speaking skills with the voice recorder, a premium feature inside the vocabulary lists. Just click on the microphone icon to record yourself saying the word or phrase. You can also listen to the native pronunciation and your own pronunciation side by side. That way you can instantly hear how close you are to the native speaker and how to improve. Fourth, you can easily review the words with the vocabulary slideshow tool. Just click the play slideshow button at the top and sit back and listen to the words. You can also play the slideshow on loop until all of the words and phrases are stuck in your brain. And fifth, if you want to master these words even faster, you can save them to your word bank or study them with the flashcards. Both are premium features. The word bank is your personal collection of key vocabulary, where you can also create principal vocabulary study sheets. And with flashcards, you can drill the words and retain them forever, thanks to our smart spaced repetition system. So if you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more of your target language, then get access to our free vocabulary lists. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to easily remember new vocab and phrases? Fact. 
Everyone, beginners and advanced learners alike, forgets new words the first time they learn them. So what's the secret to remembering? What do smart learners do? They note them down and review them later. And you can do this with our study tool called the Word Bank, your extended brain for language learning. And in this video, you'll discover, one, how to save keywords and phrases, two, how to review the words so that you never forget them, and three, how to create your own printable vocabulary worksheets. But first, if you don't yet have access to this tool and our lessons, just click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. First, what is the Word Bank? The Word Bank is a premium study tool, and it's your personal language database, where you can save new words and phrases with a single click, review them all in one spot, and never forget them. Think of it as your extended brain for language learning. Look for the Word Bank in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site, or inside the menu in our app. So, how do you take full advantage of this powerful study tool? Two, how to save keywords and phrases. If you're taking a lesson and want to save key vocab, simply go to the vocabulary section, select the words you'd like to save, and click on Add to Word Bank. If you're using the core word list, like the 2,000 most common words, or the vocabulary lists, select the words, go to Add Selected Words, and click on Word Bank. Now, the words and phrases are saved in your word bank, and you can even organize the entries with labels, like adjectives, verbs, or phrases. Three, how to review the words. Once you save the words to your word bank, you can easily see all of them, all in one spot. With every word or phrase, you get the audio pronunciation, the translation, and even the related lessons where they're introduced. That way, you can review the words one by one. If you'd like to study words with flashcards, just click on Sync to Flashcard Deck. This will create a flashcard deck of your word bank entries for you to study. Four, how to create your own printable vocabulary worksheets. If you want to have physical worksheets and practice writing the words on paper, then click on printer-friendly version and print out your word bank entries. You can even export your word bank as PDF, CSV, or XML files. Remember, you can use this powerful feature with flashcards, lessons, and vocab lists. So take advantage right now. Save new words and phrases to your word bank with a single click. Review them all in one spot and never forget them with the word bank feature. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Buying Electronics Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn how to talk about electronics and what phrases to use at the store. Download it for free right now. Second, our printable visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll know over 1,500 words. Just download and print them out. Third, 30 must-know legal vocabulary. Learn how to say court, law, illegal, and much more with this quick one-minute lesson. Fourth, how to talk about feeling excited. If you want to talk about your feelings, then this next lesson will teach you 13 words for excitement in just a few minutes. Fifth, must-know Mother's Day vocabulary. Can you say Mother's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one-minute vocabulary lesson. Sixth, Tired of apps that just teach you random words? With our innovative language learning app, you learn through conversations and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download it for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get up to 35% off with our Ready, Set, Speak sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. How are your Czech listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Muž a žena spolu mluví. Neformální rozhovor. Kolik hodin začíná pohovor?
Jak jde hledání práce? Dobře. Vlastně zítra mám jeden pohovor. Vážně? Neskočíme potom na kafe? Jasně. Ale pohovor začíná v sedm, takže bude docela pozdě. A co jít na kafe před pohovorem? To zní dobře. Setkáme se ve čtyři. Kolik hodin začíná pohovor? Muž a žena spolu mluví. Neformální rozhovor. Kolik hodin začíná pohovor? Jak jde hledání práce? Dobře. Vlastně zítra mám jeden pohovor. Vážně? Neskočíme potom na kafe? Jasně. Ale pohovor začíná v sedm, takže bude docela pozdě. A co jít na kafe před pohovorem? To zní dobře. Setkáme se ve čtyři. How are your Czech listening skills? First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Muž mluví se ženou o dnešním programu. Formální rozhovor. Co bude žena dělat? Dneska máme obchodní schůzku, tak běžte prosím napřed koupit nějaké občerstvení. Potom zkontrolujte, jestli jste vytiskla všechny materiály. A můžete jít na poštu a poslat tenhle dopis? Mají otevřeno do pěti, tak stačí, když tam půjdete až po schůzce. Jistě. Co bude žena dělat? Muž mluví se ženou o dnešním programu. Formální rozhovor. Co bude žena dělat? Dneska máme obchodní schůzku, tak běžte prosím napřed koupit nějaké občerstvení. Potom zkontrolujte, jestli jste vytiskla všechny materiály. A můžete jít na poštu a poslat tenhle dopis? Mají otevřeno do pěti, tak stačí, když tam půjdete až po schůzce. Jistě. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how tipping points will bring you closer to your language goals. If you've been learning a language for some time, you know that real progress takes time, that you won't see instant results in the next five minutes. And this can be discouraging for many learners. But don't worry, there are secret signs of success that you're on the right track and that you're going to make it. And they're called tipping points. You may not notice them immediately, but you'll always notice them in hindsight. So today you'll discover what tipping points are, how to know that you're on the right track with your language learning, how to reach tipping points, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Buying Electronics Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn how to talk about electronics and what phrases to use at the store. Download it for free right now. Second, our printable visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll know over 1,500 words. Just download and print them out. Third, 30 must-know legal vocabulary. Learn how to say court, law, illegal, and much more with this quick one-minute lesson. Fourth, how to talk about feeling excited. If you want to talk about your feelings, then this next lesson will teach you 13 words for excitement in just a few minutes. And fifth, must know Mother's Day vocabulary. 
Can you say Mother's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How tipping points will bring you closer to your language goals. Part one, why tipping points are crucial for confidence in language learning. So what's a tipping point? A tipping point is a point that you reach or a small victory, and it gives you confidence that you're going to make it. It's a sign that you're on the right track. Here's a non-language example. Imagine a gym on a Friday night, and not at 5 p.m., I mean at 10 p.m. What does it look like to you? It probably looks empty to me, like a library on a Friday night. But if you've ever been to a gym on a Friday night, there's a very interesting group of people. The most fit people you'll ever see are there. Why is this a big deal? Well, of all the things you could be doing on a Friday night, if you naturally decide to work on your fitness or any goal that you have, then that's a good sign. So what about language learning? It works the same way with languages. If you find yourself learning and practicing a language on a Friday night instead of watching Netflix, if you're taking language lessons with our innovative language learning app instead of playing a game on your smartphone, if you're watching our video lessons instead of watching random YouTube videos, then you've reached a tipping point. These are all examples of tipping points. It's when you, your actions, and your free time shift away from usual routines like watching TV towards the goals you really want, like mastering a language. That's a tipping point, and it's crucial for your confidence and overall language learning. It's evidence that you're on the right track and you're going to make it. And you might wonder, how is it evidence if I don't see any progress just yet? It does take a bit of time to make progress with language, but the answer is simple. Language learning is a lot like anything else you do in life. It comes down to where you put in your time. It's like Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule. You need time. Languages don't need 10,000 hours per se, but the principle is the same. If someone spends an hour every day on language and has done that for the past two years, that's a lot of time. So you can guarantee that this person is speaking the language with no problems, simply because of the time they put in. So what about you? How can you know if you're on the right track in reaching these tipping points? Let's get into the second part. Part two, how you can tell when you're reaching a tipping point. Picture it like this. You're learning a language in your free time. You have a small goal set. Now, within your daily routines, you start making certain choices. Between watching TV and mastering a language, you start putting more time into language. Exactly. Last week, you started with 10 minutes of learning and 50 minutes of TV. Then it grows. You spend 20 minutes on language, 40 on TV. And then 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And soon it overtakes your typical routines. That's exactly how tipping points happen. So take a look at how much time you spend on a language and take a look at your recent choices of activities. If you're learning a language with your smartphone instead of playing a mobile game, if you're spending more time watching language videos instead of regular YouTube videos, and if you're learning on a Friday night as a personal choice, that's how you know you've reached a tipping point. Tipping points are something you won't notice immediately, but you will realize in hindsight. But the point is, when you find yourself choosing language over something else, that's a sign that you're going to make it. And if you wanna actively reach these tipping points, then it's just a matter of putting in more time. Again, if you started with 10 minutes a day last week, bring yourself up to 11 or 12 minutes a day this week. Simply adjust your routine and add more time. For example, we often recommend you to set small, measurable goals with a deadline every month. So if you are, aim a little higher with your next goal add an extra few minutes to your routines. Now, back to you. Now that you learned about tipping points, do you think you've reached any? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about your first steps to learning a language, the Fundamentals Welcome Pack. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You want to learn the language, but it's hard to find effective lessons that are made by real teachers and that actually build on top of each other. 
where you're learning new things and reviewing what you've already learned. Well, that's exactly how our audio and video lessons inside our learning program work. How to learn language fast with audio and video lessons. Four tricks inside. In this guide, you'll discover one, how to learn practical conversations in just minutes, two, four tips that'll help you absorb the language and master lessons fast, and three, how to get our brand new lessons for free. But first, if you don't yet have access to our learning program, click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. First, so what makes these language lessons so effective? Each lesson is around three to 15 minutes in length, making it super easy to breeze through and absorb the language. You're not reading walls of text, but listening to actual native speakers teach you a language. Just press play to start. First, you hear a practical conversation. Then you hear it again slowly with translations. Then our teachers explain the vocabulary, grammar points, and cultural nuances. Finally, you hear the conversation one last time. And at this point, you understand a lot more than you did the first time you heard the lesson, which is exciting for a language learner, especially when you didn't understand anything before. And you can even start speaking if you repeat along. All of this takes just a few minutes. Then mark the lesson as complete and move on to the next lesson in our learning pathway, where you'll learn even more and get to review some of the words and grammar points from prior lessons. Two, there are a few special tips and tricks you can do to master the lessons even faster. You can read along with our free lesson transcript so that you can pick apart every word that you hear. You can immerse yourself with the premium dialogue track that gives you just the conversation with no translations. If you have a question, you can leave a comment on the lessons and our teachers will respond. And you can replay and review the lesson as much as you want so you can learn at your own pace. So how do you get access to the lessons? You get the lessons the moment you sign up for a free lifetime account and set your level. Based on your level, you'll get a learning pathway of lessons that's right for you. Just start there with lesson one. You can also access your next lesson on the dashboard and you can learn on the go. For example, on a walk, on your way to work or while waiting in line at the store with our free app. And as an extra bonus, you get our newest lessons for free. We release three to four new lessons a week, so you get new lessons every week nonstop. Find them inside the Lessons drop-down menu in Newest Lessons or inside the menu on the app. But first, if you don't yet have access to our learning program, click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Do you feel like you don't speak enough of your target language? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Learning a language is tough because it's hard to remember every single thing that you learn. But what if you had a cheat sheet with the must know words, phrases, and grammar rules? where you can glance through and review everything in a minute or two. If you do that enough times, then the language will become natural. How to learn a language two times faster with PDF cheat sheets. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, how to learn and retain hundreds of words and phrases with our cheat sheets, two, how to unlock over 30 cheat sheets, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our learning program, the lessons and special cheat sheets like this, click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. First, what are these cheat sheets? With our learning program, you'll learn the language with bite-sized audio and video courses. And as a bonus, you get PDF cheat sheets to help you review the language. These cheat sheets cover must-know topics like weather, family, talking about hobbies, and much more. There are over 30 cheat sheets inside. Inside each cheat sheet, you get the words, phrases, and helpful sentence patterns related to the topic that you can quickly review whenever you have a minute or two. Now, how can you learn faster with these cheat sheets? Just download a cheat sheet, print it, keep it nearby, and glance through as much as possible. Eventually, you'll know all of the words and phrases in and out, simply because you've seen the words enough times. It's all about exposure to the language. The more you're exposed to the language, the better you'll remember it. 
and you can always save the PDFs to your device. But having physical cheat sheets makes it easy to pick one up and glance through. Otherwise, they'll sit somewhere on your phone or computer, along with the many other language learning apps you haven't been using. How can you get access to our PDF cheat sheets? Just click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get our learning program and these bonus cheat sheets. Once you've signed up, come back to the special PDF lessons page by clicking the link in the description. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the 24 hour survival phrases PDF cheat sheet. Do you know enough of the language to survive for 24 hours? If not, then this survival phrases cheat sheet will help you get by. Second, the how are you and how to answer it writing workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll learn all the ways to ask and answer the question, how are you? And you'll be able to practice writing the phrases out as well. Download it for free right now. Third, 30 music words for beginners. Learn how to say song, lyrics, melody, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fourth, can you talk about roads in your target language? Learn how to say road, highway, crosswalk, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fifth, must know Father's Day vocabulary. Can you say Father's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. Sixth, free language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner level audiobooks? Then click the link below. Save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 31% off all premium or premium plus plans with the pretty big deal sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. How are your Czech listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Matka mluví se synem. Neformální rozhovor. Co dělal syn během dne a v jakém pořadí? Udělali si domácí úkol? Jo, ale udělal jsem ho už ve škole. Co uklízení? Je uklízeno nebo ne? Vstal jsem dneska brzo a uklidil si pokoj. Aha, večeře je hotová, můžeš jít jíst. Nemám hlad, dneska večeři vynechám. Ty si chceš hrát, že? Musíš se pořádně najíst. Tak jo, a po jídle si můžu hrát? Můžeš, ale ne moc dlouho. Co dělal syn během dne a v jakém pořadí? Matka mluví se synem. Neformální rozhovor. Co dělal syn během dne a v jakém pořadí? Udělali si domácí úkol? Jo, ale udělal jsem ho už ve škole. Co uklízení? Je uklizeno nebo ne? Vstal jsem dneska brzo a uklidil si pokoj. Aha, večeře je hotová, můžeš jít jíst. Nemám hlad, dneska večeři vynechám. Ty si chceš hrát, že? Musíš se pořádně najíst. Tak jo, a po jídle si můžu hrát? Můžeš, ale ne moc dlouho. How are your Czech listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Žena mluví s knihovnicí. 
Co žena udělá? Promiňte, hledám lékařský slovník. Prosím, lékařský slovník? Okamžik, prosím. Lékařské slovníky jsou ve čtvrtém patře. Ve čtvrtém patře? Můžete mi ukázat cestu? Samozřejmě, ale z toho patra si nemůžete vypůjčit žádnou knihu. Vážně? Ano. Pokud potřebujete, můžete si udělat kopie. Ve třetím patře máme kopírku. Kopie? To by asi trvalo moc dlouho. Potřebuju si ověřit spoustu věcí. Máte pravdu. No, tady kousek odsud je ještě jedna knihovna. Můžete se zeptat tam. Opravdu? Tak to půjdu tam. Jestli je tam nebudou mít, zkusím to v knihkupectví. Co žena udělá? Žena mluví s knihovnicí. Co žena udělá? Promiňte, hledám lékařský slovník. Prosím, lékařský slovník? Okamžik, prosím. Lékařské slovníky jsou ve čtvrtém patře. Ve čtvrtém patře? Můžete mi ukázat cestu? Samozřejmě, ale z toho patra si nemůžete vypůjčit žádnou knihu. Vážně? Ano. Pokud potřebujete, můžete si udělat kopie. Ve třetím patře máme kopírku. Kopie? To by asi trvalo moc dlouho. Potřebuju si ověřit spoustu věcí. Máte pravdu. No, tady kousek odsud je ještě jedna knihovna. Můžete se zeptat tam. Opravdu? Tak to půjdu tam. Jestli je tam nebudou mít, zkusím to v knihkupectví. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is Your first steps to learning a language, the fundamentals welcome pack. Is there a best way to learn a language? Many learners waste time trying to find the perfect resource, but never stick with anyone long enough to make progress because there's always a new, shinier app. But resources aside, is there a best way to learn a language? Well, there is. Keep watching this month's episode. You'll discover why you'll learn faster by starting with the fundamentals, the trunk-based knowledge approach to learning, how to get our free welcome pack, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the 24-hour survival phrases PDF cheat sheet. Traveling and want to learn enough of the language to survive? Then these survival phrases will help you get by in the first 24 hours. Second, the how are you and how to answer it writing workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll learn all the ways to ask and answer the question, how are you? And you'll be able to practice your writing skills as well. Download it for free right now. Third, 30 music words for beginners. Learn how to say song, lyrics, melody, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fourth, can you talk about roads in your target language? Learn how to say road, highway, crosswalk, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. And fifth, must know Father's Day vocabulary. Can you say Father's Day in your target language? You'll be able to with this quick one minute vocabulary lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. Your first steps to learning a language, the fundamentals welcome pack. So, is there a best way to learn a language? You can download a shiny app and start learning words on day one. But is that the right way to learn the language? Well, if you want to just know words, sure, that works. 
But if you want to learn a language from the ground up, understand how it works, be able to create your own sentences, and speak freely, you'll quickly realize that just learning words doesn't help you do that. What you need is not the next shiniest app, but to start with the fundamentals. Part 1. Why starting with the fundamentals is the best way to learn. What are the fundamentals of languages? Fundamentals are the alphabet, pronunciation, beginner-level grammar rules, and core words and phrases. And this, starting from the fundamentals, is also something called trunk-based knowledge. If you imagine a tree, it starts from the roots to the trunk and to the branches and then the leaves. And the leaves are the details, the words and phrases. And the roots and trunk are the foundation of it all. If you focus on the leaves or learning just the words and phrases, you may get to know some of the language and be able to say some things, but you'll struggle with coming up with your own sentences and speaking freely. And if you've learned like that for a bit, you'll soon realize you don't actually understand the language and need to backtrack and start over. But if you start with the roots and trunk, the fundamentals, you learn to read, the pronunciation, the grammar rules, then everything else you learn later on is built on top of these fundamentals and will make mastering the language easier than the other way around. For example, if you learn the alphabet, then writing, reading, and pronunciation become attainable. And with the proper pronunciation, you can start speaking. Skip it and you'll get nowhere. So starting with the fundamentals is the best way to start learning a language, or anything. Now, you may wonder, isn't this obvious? If you're learning in class where a teacher took the time to plan out the curriculum, it is obvious and it's done for you. But if you're learning on your own, it's not. And if you're using an app or watching videos that weren't designed to teach you the right way, you're starting off on the wrong foot. Starting with the foundation is also, in a way, the faster way to learn a language, simply because it saves you the extra time of backtracking to relearn the basics that you missed. So how do you start with the basics? Let's get into the second part. Part 2. How to learn the basics with our free welcome pack. Anytime you attempt to learn something new, your very first step should be to ask, what are the must-know basics? If you're learning in a class with a teacher who planned out the curriculum for you, it's all done for you. But if you're learning alone, as is the case with many language learners, and if you don't know the right way to approach learning, then it won't be as obvious. You might download an app or start watching YouTube videos, and you'll quickly find yourself struggling to understand how the language works, how the conjugations work, how to create your own sentences, and what's right or wrong. You'll always feel like you're missing something. And that's exactly why we created the Fundamentals Welcome Pack, which you can get for free. Keep watching till the end to find out how. The Welcome Pack is a pack of PDF cheat sheets covering the fundamentals, alphabet, beginner grammar, conversational patterns, words, phrases, and culture. You can also start learning with our recommended learning pathway, but be sure to use this Welcome Pack at the same time. And here's how. For the alphabet cheat sheet, you should spend the first two or three days practicing writing out the alphabet for 10 or 20 minutes a day or so. If your target language uses a non-Roman alphabet, then it may take you longer. For example, with Japanese, most language classes spend up to a week on the hiragana and katakana. Next, you'll find the core words and core phrases cheat sheets. These are all the words and phrases that a beginner must know. Just spend a few minutes a day reading and saying these words out loud. You can also practice writing them out, which will reinforce the alphabet as well. Remember, you don't have to memorize all the words all at once, because you'll see these words again and again later when you're taking our lessons. Then there's the grammar cheat sheet that will teach you simple grammar patterns. Copy out the sample sentences and try to create your own sentences as well. With the conversational phrases cheat sheet, you'll learn some common questions and all the possible ways to answer them in the target language. And these phrases will use the same grammar patterns that you learned earlier. If you want to download our welcome pack, just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the power of a teacher and the difference a teacher can make as you work toward achieving your speaking goals. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. 
Learning a language can be tough because there's just so much to do. There's grammar, reading, speaking, writing, and so on. But there is a way to learn and practice all seven skills of a language in one shot without overwhelming yourself and without having to split your attention across tons of books, apps, and programs. How to master the seven language skills in one shot without overwhelming yourself. How? In this guide, you'll discover one, the seven language skills, two, why you don't have to learn each skill one at a time, and three, how to pick up each skill effortlessly if you follow our specially designed learning pathway. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, so what are the seven language skills? They are speaking, listening, reading, writing, grammar, vocabulary, and culture. But that's a lot to learn all at once. Plus, resources cover only one or two skills at a time. And that's why you'll see learners who are good at reading or translating words, but not so good at speaking and listening. So second, how can you learn and practice all seven skills without overwhelming yourself? With our learning program, it's just a matter of taking a quick five or 10 minute lesson. When you sign up, you'll automatically get a learning pathway of lessons to follow. Just play a lesson and you'll hear a quick practical conversation. Then our teachers slow it down and explain all the words, grammar rules, and cultural nuances inside. So already, you're improving your listening skills and learning vocabulary, grammar, and culture. And if you shadow or repeat what you hear, you start speaking as well. You can also read along with the transcript while you're taking the lesson, which means you're practicing reading. So you've already covered six of the seven skills with one quick lesson, which took you just a few minutes. Once you're done with the lesson, if you want more practice, you can review the conversation one line at a time with the dialogue tool, which helps with listening and reading. Practice speaking the lines from the conversation with the voice recording tool. Review the grammar, cultural notes, and vocabulary with the lesson notes. And you can send the lesson vocabulary to your word bank or flashcards to drill them later. To practice writing, just leave a comment in the comment section and our teachers will respond to you with feedback. You can write out the lesson dialogue and vocabulary into a personal notebook. And if you're a Premium Plus user, you can practice writing with the help of your teacher. Now, after every few lessons, you'll get multiple choice assessments, which test you on listening, reading, grammar, and vocabulary, and hand-graded assessments, which test you on speaking and writing. And the goal of these assessments is to test you on what you learned in the last few lessons so that you can practice the language and so you don't forget what you've learned. So if you just follow the learning pathway and take the lessons, you can easily learn and practice all seven language skills. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. If you want to successfully learn a language, then it's all about time. The amount of time you spend learning and exposing yourself in the language. And the more you expose yourself to the language, the better the words, phrases, and grammar rules you learned will stick, simply because you get used to them. And for that, you need a ton of lessons and a ton of exposure. The good news? You get just that with our lesson library inside of our learning system. How to learn tons of language and boost your exposure with the lesson library. And in this quick guide, you'll learn all about it, how to level up your language and boost your exposure. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. One, so what's the lesson library? The lesson library is our collection of learning pathways all made by real teachers from absolute beginner level all the way up to the advanced level. There are hundreds and hundreds of lessons inside, including our three minute series, top 25 questions you need to know, conversational phrases video series, and more, giving you all the lessons you need to learn and master the language. And if that sounds like too much, don't worry. Two, here's how you level up your language with our lesson library. When you join, you instantly get a recommended pathway of lessons, so you have a clear pathway of lessons to follow. Instead of wondering where to start, just look for the recommended pathway on your dashboard and at the top of the lesson library. The level one pathway is for absolute beginners. Level two is for beginners and you can go all the way up to level five, the advanced level. 
So if you follow the recommended pathways, you can take your language from zero to speaking and understanding advanced conversations. Three, you can customize your learning to boost your exposure. If you wanna take on other lessons on top of the recommended ones, just visit the lesson library, scroll through the pathways available for your level and add the ones you like to your dashboard. Four, you can master speaking, reading, writing, and listening. Just sort the pathways by skill via the side menu inside the lesson library and find the pathway that's right for you. So, if you wanna learn the language the fast, fun, and easy way with our quick audio and video lessons and get full access to hundreds and hundreds of lessons, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're tired of knowing and speaking the language at a basic level and want to express yourself fluently just like native speakers, then you'll need to learn grammar. The problem? It can be tricky to learn. But don't worry, in this guide you'll discover how to learn and master grammar with the Grammar Bank. One, where to get all of the grammar explanations you'll ever need. Two, the best way to learn grammar that's right for your level. And three, how to expose yourself to real examples until the rules become natural to you with a study tool called the Grammar Bank inside of our learning program. But first, if you don't yet have access to our program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, what is the Grammar Bank? The Grammar Bank is like a grammar dictionary, except online. It's a database of the must-know grammar rules and explanations that makes it easy to look up specific rules and learn them. Look for it in the top menu of our site. Two, how do you learn grammar with it? The best way to learn grammar is not to just study rules, but to learn in context and hear the grammar used in real life. And that's exactly how you learn with our lessons. You learn a quick conversation and hear how the grammar rules are used within that conversation. Three, what if you come across grammar that you're not familiar with? Or what if you want to review a specific rule without going back to redo a lesson? That's where the Grammar Bank comes in. You can look up grammar rules and get the explanations, examples, and links to lessons where we cover these rules. You can also sort grammar by learning level. So if you're an absolute beginner and want to make sure you know all of the absolute beginner grammar rules, you can do just that with the Grammar Bank. You can also sort the rules by spelling, category, and lesson series. And if you want to get used to the grammar patterns so that you can use them in conversation and become fluent, the best way is to expose yourself to examples as much as possible. Grammar is hard at first, but gets easy once you get used to it with enough exposure. Be sure to access the related lessons inside the Grammar Bank and listen to the native conversations that use the rule as much as possible. So, if you want to become fluent and speak perfectly, you'll need grammar. Take advantage of the Grammar Bank inside of our learning program. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Hotel Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn how to check in at the hotel, plus all the must-know hotel-related words and phrases. Download it for free right now. Second, our PDF Welcome Pack. New to the language and don't know where to start? Start with the basics. With our Welcome Pack, you get six PDF cheat sheets giving you a quick overview of the alphabet, grammar, keywords and phrases, and all the basics you must know. Third, going on vacation vocabulary. Learn how to say summer vacation, camping, honeymoon, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fourth, how to talk about the muscles of the body. Learn how to say biceps, triceps, and much more. Fifth, idioms that make you sound like a native speaker. In this quick lesson, you'll pick up 10 idioms that you can use in conversations. Sixth, Tired of apps that just teach you random words? With our innovative language learning app, you learn through conversations and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download it for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. 
If you want to learn the language in six months with our complete language learning program, then get up to 45% off all six month plans with our six month challenge sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Czech listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Žena mluví se zaměstnancem pošty. Formální rozhovor. Jak pošle balík? Dobrý den. Chtěla bych poslat balík do Německa. Samozřejmě. Budete chtít ten balík sledovat? Ano. Je tam pár věcí, které jsou důležité. Dobře. V tom případě ho můžete poslat expresní leteckou poštou. Hm? Kolik to stojí? Moment, podívám se. Tak bohužel, protože ten balík má přes 20 kilo, tak může být poslán jenom lodí. Letecky je možné poslat pouze balík do 20 kilo. Chcete ho rozdělit na dva? Ano. Nejlevnější a nejsnadnější možnost je něco z balíku vyndat, aby měl pod 20 kilo a poslat ho jako jeden balík. Dobře, tak vyndám tohle a tohle. Tak, teď by to mělo být v pořádku. Výborně. Jak pošle balík? Žena mluví se zaměstnancem pošty. Formální rozhovor. Jak pošle balík? Dobrý den, chtěla bych poslat balík do Německa. Samozřejmě. Budete chtít ten balík sledovat? Ano, je tam pár věcí, které jsou důležité. Dobře. V tom případě ho můžete poslat expresní leteckou poštou. Hm? Kolik to stojí? Moment, podívám se. Tak bohužel, protože ten balík má přes 20 kilo, tak může být poslán jenom lodí. Letecky je možné poslat pouze balík do 20 kilo. Chcete ho rozdělit na dva? Ano. Nejlevnější a nejsnadnější možnost je něco z balíku vyndat, aby měl pod 20 kilo a poslat ho jako jeden balík. Dobře, tak vyndám tohle a tohle. Tak, teď by to mělo být v pořádku. Výborně. Student mluví s vedoucím obchodu. Formální rozhovor. Kolik hodin týdně bude pracovat? Promiňte, přišel jsem, protože jsem viděl váš inzerát s nabídkou brigády. Je tu vedoucí? Ano, to jsem já. Vy jste student? Ano, studuju tady na univerzitě. Už jste někdy dělal v restauraci? Ano, když jsem byl na střední, tak jsem dělal tři hodiny týdně v restauraci u našeho domu. Aha, tady máme pětihodinové směny. Kolikrát týdně můžete? No, protože mám hodně přednášek, můžu jenom o sobotách a nedělích. Soboty a neděle. Hm, mohl byste ještě dělat jeden den? Poslední dobou máme v pátek málo lidí. V pátek? No, to je trochu problém. Mám dlouho vyučování. Můžete mít kratší směnu. Byla by to pro nás velká pomoc, kdybyste mohl dělat od 8 do 10. Co vy na to? Od 8 do 10? Tak dobře. Dávám teda normální směnu v sobotu a v neděli a kratší v pátek. Kolik hodin týdně bude pracovat? Student mluví s vedoucím obchodu. Formální rozhovor. Kolik hodin týdně bude pracovat? Promiňte, přišel jsem, protože jsem viděl váš inzerát s nabídkou brigády. Je tu vedoucí? Ano, to jsem já. Vy jste student? Ano, studuju tady na univerzitě. Už jste někdy dělal v restauraci? Ano, 
Když jsem byl na střední, tak jsem dělal tři hodiny týdně v restauraci u našeho domu. Aha, tady máme pětihodinové směny. Kolikrát týdně můžete? No, protože mám hodně přednášek, můžu jenom o sobotách a nedělích. Soboty a neděle. Hm, mohl byste ještě dělat jeden den? Poslední dobou máme v pátek málo lidí. V pátek? No, to je trochu problém. Mám dlouho vyučování. Můžete mít kratší směnu. Byla by to pro nás velká pomoc, kdybyste mohl dělat od 8 do 10. Co vy na to? Od 8 do 10? Tak dobře. Dávám teda normální směnu v sobotu a v neděli a kratší v pátek. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the power of a teacher. Are you learning a language alone or with someone else, like a teacher? If you're learning alone, then you're missing out on some powerful benefits and not just being able to practice with someone. A good teacher can motivate you to go above and beyond your current level right now. And that's why today you'll discover one, the powerful benefits of learning with a good teacher and two, how you can learn faster with outside help. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Hotel Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn how to check in at the hotel, plus all the must-know hotel-related words and phrases. Download it for free right now. Second, our PDF Welcome Pack. New to the language and don't know where to start? Start with the basics. And with our welcome pack, you get six PDF cheat sheets giving you a quick overview of the alphabet, grammar, keywords and phrases, and all the basics you must know. Third, going on vacation vocabulary. Learn how to say summer vacation, camping, honeymoon, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Fourth, how to talk about the muscles of the body. Learn how to say biceps, triceps, and much more. Fifth, idioms that make you sound like a native speaker. In this quick lesson, you'll pick up 10 idioms that you can use in conversations. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The power of a teacher. Part one, the benefits of learning with a good teacher. Have you ever had a good teacher that inspired you to do better and go above and beyond? It could be any teacher and not just language related. If you had someone like that, then you already know the power of a really good teacher and the impact it can have on your learning. If you had the opposite, then you're also well aware of how a bad teacher can toss cold water on your motivation and desire to learn. But today, we just want to focus on the good and powerful benefits of learning with a teacher. One, you get language practice and feedback. For the most part, any teacher can give you new words and grammar rules, help you practice and correct your mistakes. And that's the most obvious benefit. Next. Two, if you enjoy learning with your teacher, you'll want to improve more. Now, this is one of the rarely talked about benefits. But if you think about it, if you actually enjoy learning with your teacher, and if your teacher takes the time to understand where you're struggling, something interesting will happen to your progress. Because you feel like someone finally understands you, you'll open up and want to learn and practice more. You'll want to impress them, and you'll come to the next lesson better than before. And if you add all of that effort up, lesson after lesson, you'll improve much faster. So that's why it's important to find a teacher that fits your needs well. On the other hand, if you don't really care who you learn with, and if you just show up, listen, take notes, and repeat a few words, you won't learn as fast. It'll be no different than going to class in school, passing a test, and forgetting everything immediately after. Three, higher expectations create better results. If your teacher sets high expectations, and if you can handle it, you'll progress much faster than with a more easygoing teacher. 
For example, if one teacher wants you to learn 500 words in a month and another just wants 100, even if you fail the 500 word goal, you'll still be much further along than with someone that doesn't put pressure on you. But of course, that's a personal decision. Some people want someone to push them, and some people want to learn the language at a comfortable pace. If you're upfront with your expectations, a good teacher will understand the pace you want and will work with that. By the way, if you have a good teacher that you remember from school, leave a comment below and let us know how they helped you succeed. Now, where can you get someone as motivational as that to help you learn a language fast? Well, it's easier said than done, but let's get into it. Part two, how you can learn faster with outside help. Having outside support can be a game changer for your long-term motivation. It can push you to reach new limits and work harder than ever. And that outside support can be a teacher, like we mentioned, a tutor, family, a friend, or someone you look up to. But it has to be someone that inspires and energizes you. And finding people like that is easier said than done. So if you're looking for outside support, there are a few things you can do. First, find yourself a teacher. But again, really good teachers, the kind that motivate and push you, are hard to find. So you might want to take a few trial lessons with a few teachers to find the one you're the best fit with. Second, if you know your learning style and what methods work for you, be sure to let your teacher know directly. It's their job to help, but they won't know you as well as you know yourself. But if you passively go into every session without having questions and requests of your own, you won't progress as fast. Third, if you're learning with our system and are a Premium Plus user, take advantage of your Premium Plus teacher. They'll hold you accountable, send you assignments, and give you feedback to help you perfect your language skills. Fourth, if you're learning with our system but are just taking the lessons, then find a lesson host you like in our lessons. Oftentimes, our users stick with lessons and continue learning just because they like the lesson host. And fifth, find other language learners that match or exceed your motivation level. Why? Because seeing someone else succeed and improve will push you to do the same. And this is a good option if you don't have immediate access to a teacher as well. Now, back to you. Are you learning with a teacher right now? Have you ever had a teacher that motivated you to do better? Leave a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about how to create long lasting habits for language learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to transform your driving time into language learning time? How much time do you spend in your car every day? 30 minutes? More than an hour? Why not put this huge amount of time to good use? Instead of just listening to the radio during your daily commute, you could be learning a new language instead. Here are three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. Just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You want to speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. Our teachers take you step by step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? you understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. 
And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. The best part? You can finally learn without even changing your schedule. So if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to learn your target language fast and understand native conversations, even if you're a beginner? In this learning strategies video, you'll learn all about the line by line dialogue, a powerful study tool that one, makes understanding conversations a breeze for beginners, and two, improves your speaking, listening, reading, and even writing skills. But first, if you don't yet have access to this tool and our lessons, just click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. One, what is the line-by-line -line dialogue exactly? The line-by-line -line dialogue is a study tool that makes absorbing conversations easier and you'll find it in all of our audio lessons inside of our learning program. It breaks down the conversations you learn in our lessons into individual lines so that you don't get overwhelmed. For each line, you get the text in the target language, the translations, and audio pronunciation. So you can listen to each line, read along, and understand every single word. And you can also use the line-by-line -line dialogue to perfect your speaking, reading, listening, and writing skills. How? Take a look. Two, how to improve your speaking skills. The easiest way to start speaking on your own is to shadow what you hear, meaning repeat what you hear as you play each line. Just press the audio icon next to each line to hear it and shadow along. Next, if you want to perfect your pronunciation, click on the microphone icon to start recording. Then record and compare your pronunciation with the native speakers. These tactics get you speaking in minutes, and if you apply these to every lesson, you'll be speaking a lot more of your target language. Next, here's how you master listening. Since the line-by-line -line dialogue is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation, you can listen to each line separately, as much as you want. Click on the audio icon to listen again and again, and review the script. Read along so that you can pick apart every word. That way, you can understand those fast, native-level conversations and never miss a word. Four, here's how you can practice reading. As you listen to the conversation, read along line by line. And if you don't know a word, click on the translations. They're right there in the line by line dialogue. You can even read with the Romanized script to help you sound out the words. And finally, here's how you can practice writing. Now, this advice is not something you'll hear very often because it's so simple. It's so simple that most people don't even think of doing it. Here it is. Just grab a pen and copy the lesson dialogue down into a notebook. The big benefit here is there's no writer's block. You don't have to worry about what to write. It's all there for you. So, if you want to learn your target language faster, understand native level conversations, and improve your speaking, listening, reading, and writing skills, then get free access to the line by line dialogue. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Making Plans Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this brand new cheat sheet, you'll be able to make plans in your target language and learn useful phrases like, when are we meeting? Would you like to join? And more. Second, the Talking About Family Writing Workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for family, and you'll be able to practice writing the phrases out as well. Download it for free right now. Third, can you talk about space in your target language? Learn how to say star, sun, planet, and more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must-know words for energy production. Learn how to say solar power, battery, windmill, and much more with this one minute vocabulary lesson. Fifth, the 20 phrases for daily routines. If you can't talk about your day yet, this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases from talking about waking up and brushing your teeth to dinner and going to sleep. Sixth, free language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner level audiobooks? Then click the link below 
Save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off premium or premium plus with the power up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Nadrizani. Superior. Nadrizani. Na dri ze ni. Superior. Každé ráno se musím hlásit svému nadřízenému. I have to report to my superior every morning. Každé ráno se musím hlásit svému na dří ze ne mu. Firma. Company. Firma. Fir. Ma. Company. Co víte o této firmě? What do you know about this company? Co víte o této firmě? Plat. Salary. Plat. Plat. Salary. Kolik je plat? How much is the salary? Kolik je plat? Radio. 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 Radio hraje v pozadí. Zatímco pracuji. The radio is playing in the background while I work. Radio hraje v pozadí. Zatímco pracuji. Televize. Television. Televize. Te le vi ze. Television. Právě jsem koupil televizi se 40 palcovou plochou obrazovkou. I just bought a 40 inch flat screen television. Právě jsem koupil te le vi Zi se čtyři se ti palcovou plochou obrazovkou. Internet. 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 V dnešní době nakupuji knihy a hudbu na internetu. These days I shop for books and music on the internet. V dnešní době nakupuji knihy a hudbu na internet. Noviny. Newspaper. Noviny. No, vy, ni. Newspaper. Tu noviny během své obědové pauzy. I read the newspaper during my lunch break. Čtu no, vy, ni. Během Sve obje do ve pauzy. Spravodajský kanál. 
News Channel, Spravodajský kanál, Spravodajský kanál, News Channel. Večer si zapínám Spravodajský kanál. I turn on the news channel in the evening. Večer si zapínám spravodajský kanál. Hudební nástroj. Musical instrument. Hudební nástroj. Hudební na Stroj. Musical instrument. Hraješ na hudební nástroj? Do you play a musical instrument? Hraješ na hudební nástroj? Obraz. Painting. Obraz. O bras painting obraz jablek painting of apples o bras ja black divadlo theater divadlo di va dlo Theater. Kde je divadlo? Where is the theater? Kde je divadlo? Muzikál. Musical. Muzikál. Muzikál. Musical. Muzikál dokáže vyprávět příběh písněmi. A musical can tell a story with songs. Muzikál dokáže vyprávět příběh písněmi. Opera. 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 O. P. Ra. Opera. Opera začala v Itálii v 16. století. Opera began in Italy in the 16th century. O. P. Ra. Za. Cha. La. Itálii v šestnáctém století. Uvolnit se. Relax. Uvolnit se. Uvolnit se. Relax. Uvolni se. Všechno bude v pořádku. Relax. Everything will be fine. Uvolni se. Všechno bude v pořádku. Bílá tabule. Whiteboard. Bílá tabule. Bílá tabule. Whiteboard. Bílá tabule vysí na stěně. The whiteboard is hanging on the wall. Bílá tabule vysí na stěně. Tabule. Blackboard. Tabule. Ta bu le Blackboard Učitel píše na tabuli The teacher writes on the blackboard 
u či tel píše na ta bu li. Test. 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 Středeční test bude těžký. Wednesday's test will be difficult. Středeční test bude těžký. Učebnice. Textbook. Učebnice. Učebnice. Textbook. Prosím, otevřete si učebnice na straně 10. Please open your textbook to page 10. Prosím, otevřete si učebnice na straně 10. Přední strana. Front side. Přední strana. Přední strana. Front side. Dejte tu ceduli na přední stranu budovy. Put the sign on the front side of the building. Dejte tu ceduli na Přední stranu budovy. Práce. Job. Práce. Práce. Job. V téhle práci jsem začal minulý rok. I started this job last year. V téhle práci jsem začal minulý rok. Prezident. 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 Dizident se pokusil zavraždit prezidenta. A dizident Try to assassinate the president. Dizident se pokusil zavraždit prezidenta. Průmysl. Industry. Průmysl. Průmysl. Industry. Výroba je velký průmysl. Manufacturing is a big industry. Výroba je velký průmysl. Opasek. Belt. Opasek. Opa. Sek. Belt. Dívka má na sobě červený opasek. The girl is wearing a red color belt. Dívka má na sobě červený opasek. Mince. Coin. Mince. Mince. Coin. Tento automat bere pouze mince. This vending machine only takes coins. Tento automat bere pouze mince. Peníze. Money. Peníze. Pe ní 
the money. Peníze se používají jako platidlo za zboží a služby. Money is used as payment for goods and services. Pe ní ze se používají jako platidlo za zboží a služby. Debetní karta. Debit card. Debetní karta. De B tní kar ta. Debit card. Ztratil jsem svoji debetní kartu a musel se mít na policii. I lost my debit card and had to go to the police. Ztratil jsem svoji debetní kartu. A musel jsem jít na policii. Účet. Byl. Účet. Účet. Byl. Konečně se mu podařilo zaplatit všechny své účty. He finally managed to pay all his bills. Ko nečně se mu podařilo zaplatit všechny své účty. Fotografování. Fotografy. Fotografování. Fotografování. Fotografy. Fotografování je oblíbený koníček s mnoha vážnými nadšenci, utrácejícími velké peníze za vybavení. Photography is a popular hobby, with many serious hobbyists spending big money on equipment. Fotografování je oblíbený koníček s mnoha vážnými nadšenci utrácejícími velké peníze za vybavení. Sundat. Take off. Sundat. Sundat. Take off. Předtím, než půjdeš do postele, si sundej boty. Take off your shoes before you go to bed. Předtím, než půjdeš do postele, si sundej boty. Ložnice. Bedroom. Ložnice. Ložnice. Bedroom. Výhled z ložnice je nádherný. The view from the bedroom is beautiful. Výhled z ložnice je nádherný. Kuchyně. Kitchen. Kuchyně. Kuchyně. Kitchen. Uklidil jsem kuchyni. I cleaned up the kitchen. Uklidil jsem kuchyni. Koupelna. Bathroom. 
koupelna. Koupelna. Bathroom. Koupelna má maličké okno. The bathroom has a tiny window. Koupelna má maličké okno. Promoce. Graduation. Promoce. Pro mo se. Graduation. Jsi pozván na promoci mojí sestry. You are invited to my sister's graduation. Jsi pozván na promoci mojí sestry. Povýšení. Promotion. Povýšení. Po výšení. Promotion. Je na řadě na povýšení, ale konkurence je nelítostná. He is up for a promotion, but the competition is fierce. Je na řadě na povýšení. Ale konkurence je nelítostná. Výročí. Anniversary. Výročí. Výročí. Anniversary. Zapsal jsem naše výročí do kalendáře. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Zapsal jsem naše výročí do kalendáře. Pohřeb. Funeral. Pohřeb. Pohřeb. Funeral. Pohřeb je místem pro truchlení a vzpomínání. A funeral is the time to grieve and remember. Pohřeb je místem pro truchlení a vzpomínání. Svadba. Wedding. Svadba. Sva tba. Wedding. Kdy bude ta svadba? When is the wedding? Kdy bude ta sva tba? Vysvětlovat. Explain. Vysvětlovat. Vysvětlovat. Explain. Můžeš mi to ještě jednou vysvětlit? Can you explain that to me once more? Můžeš mi to ještě jednou vysvětlit? Zpátky. Back. Zpátky. Zpátky. Back. Odpoledne ti zavolám zpátky. I will call you back this afternoon. Odpoledne ti zavolám zpátky. Východ. East. Východ. Východ. East. Slunce každé ráno vychází na východě. The sun rises every morning in the east. Slunce každé ráno vychází na východě. Vázanka. Nektaj. 
Vazanka. Va zang ka. Nektaj. Která vázanka se hodí k téhle košili? Which necktie matches this shirt? Která vázanka se hodí k téhle košili? Oblek. Suit. Oblek. O black. Suit. Podnikatelé mají sklon vnímat své obleky jako svého druhu moderní brnění. Businessmen tend to feel their suits are a sort of modern day armor. Podnikatelé mají sklon vnímat své obleky jako svého druhu moderní brnění. Teniska. Sneaker. Teniska. Teniska. Sneaker. Moje tenisky jsou moc pohodlné. My sneakers are very comfortable. Moje tenisky jsou moc pohodlné. 21. 21. 21. 21. Ta budova má 21 pater. The building has 21 stories. Ta budova má 21 pater. 22. 22. 22. 20. Dva. Twenty two. Číslo dvacet dva. Number twenty two. Číslo dvacet dva. Třicet tři. Forty three. Třicet tři. Třicet tři. Tahle kniha má 33 stránek. This book has 33 pages. Tahle kniha má 33 stránek. 44. 44. Čtyřicet čtyři. Čtyři cet čtyři. Forty four. Čtyřicet čtyři je mezinárodní předčíslí pro Velkou Británii. Forty four is the international country code for calls to the United Kingdom. Čtyři. Set čtyři je mezinárodní předčíslí pro Velkou Británii. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55 cm se rovná 21,65 palců. 55 cm is equal to 21.65 inches. 55 
cm se rovná 21,65 palců. Student. 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 Je vysokoškolská studentka. She is a university student. Je vysokoškolská studentka. Dívat se. Watch. Dívat se. Dívat se. Watch. Dívat se na film na velké obrazovce. Watch a movie on a big screen TV. Dívat se na film na velké obrazovce. Třída. Classroom. Třída. Třída. Classroom. Byla ve třídě sama. She was alone in the classroom. Byla ve třídě sama. Škola. School. Škola. Škola. School. Věda se obvykle učí na školách. Science is usually taught in schools. Věda se obvykle učí na školách. Školní židle. School chair. Školní židle. Školní židle. School chair. Přinesl jsem si polštář na svou školní židli. I brought a cushion for my school chair. Přinesl jsem si polštář na svou školní židli. Lavice. School desk. Lavice. La vi ce. School desk. Židle je připojená ke školní lavici. The chair is attached to the school desk. Židle je připojená ke školní lavici. Surfovat na internetu. Surf the internet. Surfovat na internetu. Surfovat na internetu. Surf the internet. Každý večer před spaním surfuji na internetu. I surf the internet every night before bed. Každý večer před spaním surfuji na internetu. Sever. North. Sever. Se. Ver. North. Kompas vždy ukazuje na sever. A kompas always points north. Kompas vždy ukazuje na sever. Vrátit se. Return. Vrátit se. Vrátit se. 
return. Vrátit se domů. To return home. Vrátit se domů. Koupat se. Bath. Koupat se. Koupat se. Bath. Rád se koupu každý večer po práci. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. Rád se koupu každý večer po práci. Usínat. Sleep. Usínat. Usínat. Sleep. Měl bys usínat brzy. You should sleep early. Měl bys usínat brzy. Jich. South. Jich. Jich. South. Na jich od Spojených států je Mexiko. To the south of the United States is the country of Mexico. Na jich od Spojených států je Mexiko. Pyjamo. Pajamas. Pyjamo. Pyjamo. Pajamas. Chlapec má na sobě pyjamo. The boy is wearing pajamas. Chlapec má na sobě pyjamo. Podprsenka. Brazier. Podprsenka. Podprsenka. Brazier. Ta podprsenka je vyrobená z hedvábí. This brazier is made from silk. Ta podprsenka je vyrobená z hedvábí. Vzbudit se. Wake up. Vzbudit se. Vzbudit se. Wake up. Abych se vzbudil, potřebuji budík. I need an alarm to help me wake up. Abych se vzbudil, potřebuji budík. Dojíždět. Commute. Dojíždět. Do jíždět. Commute. Plat není špatný, ale musíš dojíždět do práce dvě hodiny. The pay is not bad, but you have to commute to work for at least two hours. Plat. Není špatný, ale musíš dojíždět do práce dvě hodiny. Jíst. Eat. Jíst. Jíst. Eat. Měl bys něco jíst. You should eat something. Měl bys něco jíst. Umění. Art. 
umění. U mě ní. Art. Byl známým patronem umění. He was a well-known art patron. Byl známým patronem umění. Literatura. Literature. Literatura. Li te ra tu ra. Literature. Literatura může hrát v něčím životě důležitou úlohu. Literature can play an important role in somebody's life. Li te ra tu ra může hrát v něčím životě důležitou úlohu. Film. Movie. Film. Film. Movie. Tenhle film se mi moc líbí. I really like this movie. Tenhle film se mi moc líbí. Hudba. Music. Hudba. Hudba. Music. Někteří tvrdí, že hudba je univerzální jazyk. Some say music is the universal language. Někteří tvrdí, že hudba je univerzální jazyk. Odpověď. Answer. Odpověď. O tpo věť. Answer. Zná odpověď. He knows the answer. Zná od po věť. Učit. Teach. Učit. Učit. Teach. Učit dítě psát. To teach a child writing. Učit dítě psát. Ptát se. Ask. Ptát se. Ptát se. Ask. Musíme se zeptat? Do we need to ask? Musíme se zeptat? Zavřít. Close. Zavřít. Zavřít. Close. Ochladilo se. Můžeš prosím tě zavřít okno? It's getting a bit cold. Could you close the window, please? Ochladilo se. Můžeš prosím tě zavřít okno? Narození. Birth. Narození. Na, ro, ze, ní. Birth. Narození dítěte. Birth of child. Na, ro, ze, ní. Dítěte. Pracovat. Work. Pracovat. Pra. Co vat. 
work. Před týdnem začal pracovat na benzínce. He started working at the gas station a week ago. Před týdnem začal pracovat na benzínce. Rozsvítit. Turn on. Rozsvítit. Roz, sví, tit. Turn on. Muž rozsvítil světlo. The man turned on the light. Muž rozsvítil světlo. Vypnout. Turn off. Vypnout. Vypnout. Turn off. Zastav to auto a vypni motor. Stop the car and turn off the engine. Zastav to auto a vypni motor. Jíst v restauraci. Eat out. Jíst v restauraci. Jíst v restauraci. Eat out. Jíst v restauraci v pátek. Eat out on Friday. Jíst v restauraci v pátek. Účastnice. Attend. Účastnice. Účastnit se. Attend. Účastním se schůzky. I attend a meeting. Účastním se schůzky. Západ. West. Západ. Západ. West. Slunce zapadá na západě. The sun sets in the west. Slunce zapadá na západě. How are your Czech listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Žena mluví s číšníkem. Formální rozhovor. Kam si sedne? Dobrý den. Kolik vás je? Čtyři, ale dva přijdou později. Omlouvám se, ale právě teď máme plno. Nevadilo by vám si k někomu sednout? Co kdybychom chvilku počkali? Ovšem, myslím, že tamhle ten stůl vedle piána se za chvilku uvolní. Aha, ale my jsme si chtěli promluvit, takže by možná byl lepší nějaký stůl dál od piána. A co tam ten, na levé straně? Je trošku malý, ale přinesu židli, takže si tam čtyři lidé sednou. Ten je trochu moc malý. Co ten blízko u záchodu? Ten je rezervovaný. Aha, no, jsme zatím jenom dva, tak můžeme počkat u baru. Jistě. Zákazníci, kteří si ten stůl rezervovali, to právě zrušili, takže si tam můžete sednout, pokud chcete. Ano. Kam si sedne? Žena mluví s číšníkem. Formální rozhovor. Kam si sedne? Dobrý den. Kolik vás je? Čtyři, ale dva přijdou později. Omlouvám se, ale právě teď máme plno. Nevadilo by vám si k někomu sednout? Co kdybychom chvilku počkali? 
Ovšem, myslím, že tamhle ten stůl vedle piána se za chvilku uvolní. Aha, ale my jsme si chtěli promluvit, takže by možná byl lepší nějaký stůl dál od piána. A co tam ten, na levé straně? Je trošku malý, ale přinesu židli, takže si tam čtyři lidé sednou. Ten je trochu moc malý. Co ten blízko u záchodu? Ten je rezervovaný. Aha, no, jsme zatím jenom dva, tak můžeme počkat u baru. Jistě. Zákazníci, kteří si ten stůl rezervovali, to právě zrušili, takže si tam můžete sednout, pokud chcete. Ano. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to create long lasting habits for language learning. Our lives are governed by routines and habits. And a lot of the time we're doing things out of habit without having to think or motivate ourselves. So what if you could do the same for language learning? You can easily slide in, start learning without needing to push yourself. If you could, you'd succeed with the language. And that's why today you'll discover one, how habits work, two, tricks for creating strong habits for language learning, and three, how to create your own habits. How to create long lasting habits for language learning. Part one, tricks for creating strong habits for language learning. Is language learning a habit for you? If not, then you've probably tried and struggled with creating that habit. Why? If you think about it, the way our behavior works is, if you get a good result or reward, you do it again. And if you get punished or if you don't see a good result, you tend not to do it again. So we're all kind of wired to want results, to stay motivated or see progress. But with long-term goals like language learning or fitness, for example, it takes that time to see some results. So it's understandable why it's hard for learners to make language learning a habit. You can come up with a nice routine on paper, but if you can't physically stick with it, it's kind of useless. The trick is to keep going until it becomes a habit. So what should you do to create a habit? Well, there are a few tricks for that. First, set a specific time and location dedicated to learning language. That could be your house, a cafe, or on the train. The reason you should start with time and location is because many of our habits are ruled by time and location. If it's 8 p.m., we know it's dinner time. If it's midnight, it's time to brush your teeth. And if you're at the office, a location, it's time to work. And if you're at a gym, it's time to work out. So by doing this, you give yourself a plan to work from. If it's 8 p.m., you automatically know to learn language in the set place. The second tip is similar to the first. Create an environment that's good for language learning, where it's easy for you to learn. As mentioned earlier, location can set the theme of your behavior and habit. If you're in a library, you're more likely to read. If you're at the gym, you're more likely to work out. So you can turn a room or a corner of a room into a learning space where you can easily pop in and start learning without getting distracted by TV, your phone, or a pile of clothes on your couch. Again, your environment can make it easy to stick with habits or it can break your habits. For example, if you want to work out, if you had a gym on the first floor of your building, it'd be much easier to go, right? But if it was five blocks away, then it's out of your immediate environment and not as easy to get to. Similarly, if you decide to learn a language on the couch and next to your TV, it won't work out as well because your environment isn't suited to learning. You'd want a place with no external distractions. The third thing you can do is piggybacking or habit stacking. In other words, combining a habit that you already have with a new one that you want to have. So take a look at your existing habits and routines throughout the day. For example, let's say you commute to work or school for 30 minutes. If you can multitask while doing this, then this is a great place to squeeze in language learning. If you eat lunch at 1 p.m., you can piggyback on top of this routine and listen to our audio lessons. 
and there's a good chance it will stick because you're piggybacking on top of an existing habit that you have no problem sticking with. The fourth tip is called the two minute rule. In other words, just learn a language for two minutes and then walk away. The whole point here is to master the habit of showing up and learning. Two minutes isn't enough to make progress, but for a beginner who doesn't have good habits to start with, this is more than enough. It's enough to build a habit. Remember, with habits, it's not about how many hours you put in right now, it's how many times you've done it, the frequency. So someone that did 100 two-minute lessons for two weeks will have a much stronger habit than someone that learned for one hour a day for two weeks and wore themselves out. The fifth tip is to track your habits, and it's something you can do with a calendar, where you cross the days on a calendar every time you learn your target language. Having that habit tracker does two things. First, it keeps the habit on top of your mind. And second, it gives you that reward or result. So if you're consistent, you have the visual proof right in front of you. If you're not, well, at least now you know your progress. Now, how long does it take to form a habit? Some say 21 days, and then there are studies that say two months on average. But remember, the most important part, again, is frequency. The current habits you have, you've done them hundreds and hundreds of times, which is what makes them automatic. So if anything, you'll want to aim for frequency instead of a specific number of days. Now, what about you? How can you apply these tips? Let's get into part two. Part two, recap on how to create your own habits. As you already know, our lives are governed by routines and habits. And a lot of the time, we're doing things out of habit without having to think or motivate ourselves. Now, imagine if you could do that for language learning, where you can easily slide in and start learning without needing to push yourself. That's where habits come in. Habits start with a cue, which is an outside signal. For example, it's 8 p.m. Or you smell some food at 8 p.m. Then a craving. If you eat dinner at 8 p.m., you'll start wanting to eat. Then the response, you eat. And then the reward, you feel satisfied. But building habits is tricky, especially when there's no instant reward. And there's no instant reward with language learning. We're wired more so for instant rewards. So what can you do? Here's a quick recap with examples for you to do. First, set a time and location. This one depends on you and how much free time you have. But keep it simple and don't aim high. For example, 8 p.m. to 8.10 p.m. at home or 2 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the cafe every Saturday or Sunday. And the reason is that, again, time and location are powerful cues for our behavior. There's a certain time we sleep, eat, do work, and there are places where we work. And so if you want to build a habit, start here first. Second, create an environment that makes language learning easy. You can turn a room or a corner of a room into a learning space where you don't have any distractions in the way and where it's easy to start learning. And if your home isn't the best place, then try a cafe. The whole point is to make learning easier to jump into. Third, piggyback on your existing routines and habits. In other words, combine language learning with the routine that you already do, like commuting to work, doing chores, or taking a walk. That way, your brain automatically starts associating your commute time as language time, and you can easily do a lesson without having to push and motivate yourself. So map out your daily schedule from morning to night and make it detailed. 8 a.m. wake up, 8.30 a.m. breakfast, commute at 9 a.m., arrive at work at 9.30 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., and so on. Then look where you can multitask and stick language learning in. Fourth, use the two minute rule, meaning if you wanna create a habit, do it only for two minutes and immediately walk away after. The whole point is to build the habit of showing up to language learning, and you don't need to put in hours there. It's all about how many times you've shown up, not the actual hours you've studied. And you can easily learn with our lessons or the word of the day emails. Fifth, track your habits and don't skip two days in a row. If you can track and measure something, that means you can also improve it. And the same applies to language learning. You can do this with a calendar, a productivity app, or a simple notebook. If you see that you were able to stick with learning for a week, you're more likely to keep at it without breaking the chain. Sixth, Surround yourself with other language learners or get a language teacher. 
Like the environment, people also have a big impact on your habits. So if you're a Premium Plus user, be sure to take advantage of the teachers available in our program. Or you can sign up for live classes. Our next semester opens up in September for Japanese, Korean, Spanish, French, Chinese, Italian, German, and English. Now that you know how to create habits, leave a comment and tell us which trick you want to apply. You don't have to use them all, but pick at least one. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about tipping points, the secret signposts of language progress and success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to speak more of your target language? Then you'll need to know more words and phrases. Except the problem is, memorizing word lists is painful and boring. But the good news is you don't have to memorize for hours to boost your vocabulary and speak more. You can glance through our printable visual flashcards and easily master over 1,500 of the most common words. How to learn the 1,500 most common words with visual flashcards. And in this guide, you'll discover 1. How to get free access to visual flashcards 2. How to learn words easily without painful memorization and 3. Why these flashcards help you acquire words faster than typical word lists or digital flashcards. But first, if you're not a member of our language learning system, which gives you free access to this special resource, then be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account right now. First, what are visual flashcards? Visual flashcards are printable, illustrated flashcards that teach you over 1,500 of the most common words across 60 topics. Just download the PDFs, print them out in two-sided format, cut out the flashcards, and start learning. Now, how can you learn words fast with these flashcards? The best way to learn anything is not to cram or memorize for hours a day, but to go through and review the words for just a few minutes a day every day. That repetition is what locks the language into your memory, and eventually you'll get used to the words like it's your own native language. Also, all flashcards include an image for each word, so your brain can easily create a connection between the image and the word and help you remember it better, instead of just relying on text, as is the case with most digital flashcards and word lists. Third, here's how you learn with the visual flashcards. After printing and cutting them out, you can go through the cards and review them for just a few minutes a day. Also, be sure to read the words out loud for speaking practice. You can also test yourself by looking at the meaning and trying to recall the word in the target language. If you don't remember, just flip the card over to get the answer. You can also have a friend test you. And you can place the cards on the objects they represent around your home. So for the card for the window, you can tape that to the window, and you'll quickly memorize the word after seeing it a few times. So if you want to speak more of your target language and add over 1,500 words to your vocabulary, Download our printable visual flashcards right now for free. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account and get free access. If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. How to learn the 100 most common words on loop. In this guide, you'll discover 1. Why 100 words is all you need as a beginner and 2. How to master these 100 words without painful memorization with our free study tools. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, why are 100 words all you need as a beginner? Because overwhelming yourself with 1,000 words is not a good way to learn. 
And because of something called the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto Principle. This states that 80% of your progress and results will come from just 20% of what you've done, meaning you'll get the best results from focusing on a few things instead of trying to do everything. In the case of language, learning the top 100 words helps you understand a lot of the language. So instead of overwhelming yourself by learning all the words, many of which you won't hear in daily conversations, you'll get much better results by focusing on the top 100 words, like you, this, that, today, Friday, and so on. And you can easily learn 100 words in a month if you learn around three to four words a day every day. In month two, you can learn 100 more and slowly build your way up. Second, how can you do this? You can learn the 100 most common words with our learning system. When you join, just look for the vocabulary menu and click on 100 most common words in the drop-down menu. This study tool is 100% free for all members. For each word, you get a picture, the audio pronunciation, and an example sentence. You can simply review this list for a few minutes a day. Write the words out in a notebook, or you can use our slideshow tool and master these words without painful memorization. Just click on View Slideshow and sit back and follow along. The slideshow will play one word after the other, along with the audio pronunciation, the meaning, the image, and the example sentence. You can also set it to play the target language only, without the translations. And even better, if you set the slideshow to play on loop, you can keep the words playing non-stop until they're stuck in your brain. Just imagine, you could spend a few days listening to the words on loop, master them all without hard work, and speak a lot of your target language. So, if you want to master the 100 most common words with our free word list and slideshow tool, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. You want to learn and speak the language, and you know that you need to learn more words so you can speak more, except memorizing words is boring and painful work. But what if you could skip that hard work and quickly review words in minutes a day and actually remember them in the long run? Keep watching. How to learn words fast without forced memorization. In this guide, you'll discover one proven tactic for learning words, which is much easier than brute memorization, two, why you'll actually remember what you've learned, and three, how to pick up hundreds of new words every month with one tool that all serious language learners love. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, what's the best way to learn words if you want to avoid the hard work of memorization? It's called spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is where you see a word today, then you see it again tomorrow, then in a few days, and so on, so that your learning gets spaced out over time. Spaced repetition learning is backed by science and helps you actually remember words because first, you need repetition to learn anything. And second, you need to space out the learning over time because your brain remembers better every time you come back to review. And that's something that won't happen if you spend hours cramming today only, which is also why you forget everything after a test that you've crammed for. So, how can you take advantage of this learning method to learn more words? Well, there's a study tool that all serious language learners love. It's called Spaced Repetition Flashcards. And you can find our flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. Inside, you already have the 100 must-know words deck prepared for you, so you can jump in and start learning right away. You can also make flashcard decks from words and phrases presented in our lessons, the 2000 core word list, words saved in your work bank, and our free vocab list. Just click on Study and Start Session to start learning. Third, once you start, the flashcards track your progress and sort your cards for you. So the tough words that you struggle with, you'll see them more often in a study session. And the easy words that you get right, they'll start getting spaced out. You'll see them again in two days, then five days, then 13 days, and so on. At which point, these words will start going into your long-term memory, and you'll never forget them. Once you're done with the study session, that's it for the day. And all of this takes just a few minutes. Then your flashcards will remind you when to study again and start introducing new words while spacing out the ones you already know. And that way you can easily master hundreds of words a month just by quickly reviewing words for a few minutes a day without the hard work of memorization. 
So take advantage of our flashcards right now. But if you don't yet have access to our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Learning to Cook Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, how to talk about your weekend. If you can't talk about your weekend plans, then this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases like sleep, hang out with friends, play video games, and much more. Fourth, how to count from zero to 100. Do you know how to count from one to 10? How about to 100? This quick word list will get you mastering numbers in just a minute. Fifth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. Sixth, our big collection of language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner level audiobooks? Then click the link below. Save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with real lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning system, get 40% off premium or premium plus with the Epic Sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Nadřízený. Superior. Nadřízený. Na dří ze ní. Superior. Každé ráno se musím hlásit svému nadřízenému. I have to report to my superior every morning. Každé ráno se musím hlásit svému na dří ze ne mu. Firma. Company. Firma. Fir ma. Company. Co víte o této firmě? What do you know about this company? Co Víte o této firmě plat. Salary. Plat. Plat. Salary. Kolik je plat? How much is the salary? Kolik je plat? Radio. 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 Ra di yo. Radio. Radio hraje v pozadí, zatím co pracuji. The radio is playing in the background while I work. Ra di yo hraje. Po za dí, za tím, co pracuji. Televize. Television. Televize. Te-le-vi-ze. Television. 
Právě jsem koupil televizi se 40 palcovou plochou obrazovkou. I just bought a 40-inch flat screen television. Právě jsem koupil televizi se 40 palcovou plochou obrazovkou. Internet. 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 V dnešní době nakupuji knihy a hudbu na internetu. These days I shop for books and music on the internet. V dnešní době nakupuji knihy a hudbu na internetu. Noviny. Newspaper. Noviny. Noviny. Newspaper. Tu noviny během své obědové pauzy. I read the newspaper during my lunch break. Čtu noviny během své obědové pauzy. Spravodajský kanál. News channel. Spravodajský kanál. Spravodajský kanál. News channel. Večer si zapínám spravodajský kanál. I turn on the news channel in the evening. Večer si zapínám Spravodajský kanál. Hudební nástroj. Musical instrument. Hudební nástroj. Hudební nástroj. Musical instrument. Hraješ na hudební nástroj? Do you play a musical instrument? Hraješ na hudební nástroj? Obraz. Painting. Obraz. Obraz. Painting. Obraz jablek. Painting of apples. O bras ja black. Divadlo. Theater. Divadlo. Di va dlo. Theater. Gde je divadlo? Where is the theater? Kde je divadlo? Muzikál. Musical. Muzikál. Muzikál. Musical. Muzikál dokáže vyprávět příběh písněmi. A musical can tell a story with songs. Mu Zikál dokáže vyprávět příběh písněmi. Opera. 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 O -pe -ra. Opera. 
opera začala v Itálii v 16. století. Opera began in Italy in the 16th century. O P Ra za cha la v Itálii v 16. století. Uvolnit se. Relax. Uvolnit se. U volnit se. Relax. Uvolni se. Všechno bude v pořádku. Relax. Everything will be fine. U volni se. Všechno bude v pořádku. Bílá tabule. Whiteboard. Bílá tabule. Bílá tabule. Whiteboard. Bílá tabule vysí na stěně. The whiteboard is hanging on the wall. Bílá tabule vysí na stěně. Tabule. Blackboard. Tabule. Ta bu le. Blackboard. Učitel píše na tabuli. The teacher writes on the blackboard. U či tel píše na ta bu li. Test. 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 Středeční test bude těžký. Wednesday's test will be difficult. Středeční test bude těžký. Učebnice. Textbook. Učebnice. Učebnice. Textbook. Prosím, otevřete si učebnice na straně 10. Please open your textbook to page 10. Prosím, otevřete si učebnice na straně 10. Přední strana. Front side. Přední strana. Přední strana. Front side. Dejte tu ceduli na přední stranu budovy. Put the sign on the front side of the building. Dejte tu ceduli na Přední stranu budovy. Práce. Job. Práce. Práce. Job. V téhle práci jsem začal minulý rok. I started this job last year. V téhle práci jsem začal minulý rok. Prezident. 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 Dizident se pokusil zavraždit prezidenta. A dissident tried to assassinate the president. 
dizident se pokusil zavraždit prezidenta. Průmysl. Industry. Průmysl. Průmysl. Industry. Výroba je velký průmysl. Manufacturing is a big industry. Výroba je velký průmysl. Opasek. Belt. Opasek. Opasek. Belt. Dívka má na sobě červený opasek. The girl is wearing a red color belt. Dívka má na sobě červený opasek. Mince. Coin. Mince. Min. C. Coin. Tento automat bere pouze mince. This vending machine only takes coins. Tento automat bere pouze mince. Peníze. Money. Peníze. Peníze. Money. Peníze se používají jako platidlo za zboží a služby. Money is used as payment for goods and services. Peníze se používají jako platidlo. Tidlo za zboží a služby. Debetní karta. Debit card. Debetní karta. Debetní karta. Debit card. Ztratil jsem svoji debetní kartu a musel jsem jít na policii. I lost my debit card and had to go to the police. Ztratil jsem svoji debetní kartu a musel jsem jít na policii. Účet. Byl. Účet. U čet. Byl. Konečně se mu podařilo zaplatit všechny své účty. He finally managed to pay all his bills. Konečně se mu podařilo zaplatit Všechny své účty. Fotografování. Fotografy. Fotografování. Fotografování. Fotografy. Fotografování je oblíbený koníček s mnoha vážnými nadšenci, utrácejícími velké peníze za vybavení. Photography is a popular hobby with many serious hobbyists spending big money on equipment. Fotografování je 
oblíbený koníček s mnoha vážnými nadšenci, utrácejícími velké peníze za vybavení. Sundat. Take off. Sundat. Sun dat. Take off. Předtím, než půjdeš do postele, si sundej boty. Take off your shoes before you go to bed. Předtím, než půjdeš do postele, si sundej boty. Ložnice. Bedroom. Ložnice. Ložnice. Bedroom. Výhled z ložnice je nádherný. The view from the bedroom is beautiful. Výhled z ložnice je nádherný. Kuchyně. Kitchen. Kuchyně. Kuchyně. Kitchen. Uklidil jsem kuchyni. I cleaned up the kitchen. Uklidil jsem kuchyni. Koupelna. Bathroom. Koupelna. Koupelna. Bathroom. Koupelna má maličké okno. The bathroom has a tiny window. Koupelna má maličké okno. Promoce. Graduation. Promoce. Promoce. Graduation. Jsi pozván na promoci mojí sestry. You are invited to my sister's graduation. Jsi pozván na promoci mojí sestry. Povýšení. Promotion. Povýšení. Povýšení. Promotion. Je na řadě na povýšení, ale konkurence je nelítostná. He is up for a promotion, but the competition is fierce. Je na řadě na povýšení, ale konkurence je nelítostná. Výročí. Anniversary. Výročí. Výročí. Anniversary. Zapsal jsem naše výročí do kalendáře. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Zapsal jsem naše výročí do kalendáře. Pohřeb. Funeral. Pohřeb. Pohřeb. Funeral. Pohřeb je místem pro truchlení a vzpomínání. A funeral is the time to grieve and remember. Pohřeb je místem pro truchlení a vzpomínání. Svadba. 
wedding. Svadba. Sva dba. Wedding. Kdy bude ta svadba? When is the wedding? Kdy bude ta svadba? Vysvětlovat. Explain. Vysvětlovat. Vysvětlovat. Explain. Můžeš mi to ještě jednou vysvětlit? Can you explain that to me once more? Můžeš mi to ještě jednou vysvětlit? Zpátky. Back. Zpátky. Zpátky. Back. Odpoledne ti zavolám zpátky. I will call you back this afternoon. Odpoledne ti zavolám zpátky. Východ. East. Východ. Východ. East. Slunce každé ráno vychází na východě. The sun rises every morning in the east. Slunce každé ráno vychází na východě. Vázanka. Nektaj. Vázanka. Vá Zang ka. Nektaj. Která vázanka se hodí k téhle košili? Which nektaj matches this shirt? Která vázanka se hodí k téhle košili? Oblek. Suit. Oblek. O black suit. Podnikatelé mají sklon vnímat své obleky jako svého druhu moderní brnění. Businessmen tend to feel their suits are a sort of modern day armor. Podnikatelé mají sklon vnímat své obleky jako svého druhu moderní brnění. Teniska. Sneaker. Teniska. Teniska. Sneaker. Moje tenisky jsou moc pohodlné. My sneakers are very comfortable. Moje tenisky jsou moc pohodlné. 21. 21. 21. 2. Set je dna. Twenty one. Ta budova má dvacet jedna pater. The building has twenty one stories. Ta budova má dvacet jedna pater. Dvacet dva. Twenty two. Dvacet dva. Dvacet dva. Twenty two. Číslo dvacet dva. Number twenty two. Číslo dvacet 
dva, třicet tři, forty-three, třicet tři, tři, set, tři, forty-three. Tahle kniha má třicet tři stránek. This book has 33 pages. Tahle kniha má 33 stránek. 44. 44. 44. 4. 4. Čtyřicet čtyři je mezinárodní předčíslí pro Velkou Británii. Forty four is the international country code for calls to the United Kingdom. Čtyři set čtyři je mezinárodní předčíslí pro Velkou Británii. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55 cm se rovná 21,65 palců. 55 cm is equal to 21.65 inches. 55 cm se rovná 21,65 palců. Student. 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 Je vysokoškolská studentka. She is a university student. Je vysokoškolská studentka. Dívat se. Watch. Dívat se. Dívat se. Watch. Dívat se na film na velké obrazovce. Watch a movie on a big screen TV. Dívat se na film na velké obrazovce. Třída. Classroom. Třída. Třída. Classroom. Byla ve třídě sama. She was alone in the classroom. Byla ve třídě sama. Škola. School. Škola. Škola. School. Věda se obvykle učí na školách. Science is usually taught in schools. Věda se obvykle učí na školách. Školní židle. School chair. Školní židle. Školní židle. School chair. Přinesl jsem si polštář na svou školní židli. I brought a cushion for my school chair. Přinesl jsem si polštář na svou školní židli. Lavice. 
school desk, lavice, la, vi, ce, school desk. Židle je připojená ke školní lavici. The chair is attached to the school desk. Židle je připojená ke školní lavici. Surfovat na internetu. Surf the internet. Surfovat na internetu. Surfovat na internetu. Surf the internet. Každý večer před spaním surfuji na internetu. I surf the internet every night before bed. Každý večer před spaním Ním surfuji na internetu. Sever. North. Sever. Sever. North. Kompas vždy ukazuje na sever. A compass always points north. Kompas vždy ukazuje na sever. Vrátit se. Return. Vrátit se. Vrátit se. Return. Vrátit se domů. To return home. Vrátit se domů. Koupat se. Bath. Koupat se. Koupat se. Bath. Rád se koupu každý večer po práci. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. Rád se koupu každý večer po práci. Usínat. Sleep. Usínat. Usínat. Sleep. Měl bys usínat brzy. You should sleep early. Měl bys usínat brzy. Jich. South. Jich. Jich. South. Na jich od Spojených států je Mexiko. To the south of the United States is the country of Mexico. Na jich od Spojených států je Mexiko. Pyjamo. Pajamas. Pyjamo. Pyjamo. Pajamas. Chlapec má na sobě pyjamo. The boy is wearing pajamas. Chlapec má na sobě pyjamo. Podprsenka. Brazier. Podprsenka. Podprsenka. Brazier. Ta podprsenka je vyrobená z hedvábí. This brazier is made from silk. Ta podprsenka 
je vyrobená z hedvábí. Vzbudit se. Wake up. Vzbudit se. Vzbudit se. Wake up. Abych se vzbudil, potřebuji budík. I need an alarm to help me wake up. Abych se vzbudil, potřebuji budík. Dojíždět. Commute. Dojíždět. Do jí ždět. Commute. Plat není špatný, ale musíš dojíždět do práce dvě hodiny. The pay is not bad, but you have to commute to work for at least two hours. Plat není špatný, ale musíš do Jíždět do práce dvě hodiny. Jíst. Eat. Jíst. Jíst. Eat. Měl bys něco jíst. You should eat something. Měl bys něco jíst. Umění. Art. Umění. Umění. Art. Byl známým patronem umění. He was a well-known art patron. Byl Známým patronem umění. Literatura. Literature. Literatura. Literatura. Literature. Literatura může hrát v něčím životě, Důležitou úlohu. Literature can play an important role in somebody's life. Literatura může hrát v něčím životě důležitou úlohu. Film. Movie, film, film, movie. Tenhle film se mi moc líbí. I really like this movie. Tenhle film se mi moc líbí. Hudba. Music, hudba, hudba, music. Někteří tvrdí, že hudba je univerzální jazyk. Some say music is the universal language. Někteří tvrdí, že hudba je univerzální Jazyk. Odpověď. Answer. Odpověď. Odpověď. Answer. Zná odpověď. He knows the answer. Zná odpověď. Učit. Teach. Učit. 
u chit teach uchit dítě psát to teach a child writing uchit dítě psát ptát se ask ptát se ptát se ask musíme se zeptat do we need to ask musíme se zeptat zavřít close zavřít za vřít close Ochladilo se. Můžeš prosím tě zavřít okno? It's getting a bit cold. Could you close the window, please? Ochladilo se. Můžeš prosím tě zavřít okno? Narození. Birth. Narození. Na ro ze ní. Birth. Narození dítěte. Birth of child. Na ro ze ní. Dítěte. Pracovat. Work. Pracovat. Pra co vat work Před týdnem začal pracovat na benzínce He started working at the gas station a week ago Před týdnem začal pracovat na benzínce Rozsvítit Turn on. Rozsvítit. Roz, sví, tit. Turn on. Muž rozsvítil světlo. The man turned on the light. Muž rozsvítil světlo. Vypnout. Turn off. Vypnout. Vypnout. Turn off. Zastav to auto a vypni motor. Stop the car and turn off the engine. Zastav to auto a vypni motor. Jíst v restauraci. Eat out. Jíst v restauraci. Jíst v restauraci. Eat out. Jíst v restauraci v pátek. Eat out on Friday. Jíst v restauraci v pátek. Účastnice. Attend. Účastnice. Účastnit se. Attend. Účastním se schůzky. I attend a meeting. Účastním se schůzky. Západ. West. Západ. Západ. West. Slunce zapadá na západě. The sun sets in the west. Slunce zapadá 
na západě. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Czech listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Muž na schůzi podává zprávu o prodejních výsledcích firmy. Jaké dva grafy ve své prezentaci používá? Prosím, podívejte se do svých podkladů. Levý graf zobrazuje prodejní výsledky naší firmy za poslední tři roky a předpověď pro letošní rok. A pravý graf ukazuje měsíční pokles v prodejích až do října letošního roku. Teď se prosím podívejte na levý graf. Vidíte, že prodej poslední tři roky neustále stoupal. A pokud chceme naše prodeje nadále zvyšovat, celková čísla za letošní rok ukáží zvýšení oproti minulému roku. Dále se prosím podívejte na pravý graf. Pravý graf ukazuje, že kampaně, které jsme spustili v Dubnu a Srpnu, byly poměrně úspěšné. Vidím, ale v květnu a září po spuštění kampaní prodeje klesly. Ano, ale těchle poklesů se lze vyvarovat. Očekávám, že pokud zvýšené prodeje udržíme, ukáží prodejní výsledky za letošní rok nárůst oproti minulému roku. Jaké dva grafy ve své prezentaci používá? Muž na schůzi podává zprávu o prodejních výsledcích firmy. Jaké dva grafy ve své prezentaci používá? Prosím, podívejte se do svých podkladů. Levý graf zobrazuje prodejní výsledky naší firmy za poslední tři roky a předpověď pro letošní rok. A pravý graf ukazuje měsíční pokles v prodejích až do října letošního roku. Teď se prosím podívejte na levý graf. Vidíte, že prodej poslední tři roky neustále stoupal. A pokud chceme naše prodeje nadále zvyšovat, celková čísla za letošní rok ukáží zvýšení oproti minulému roku. Dále se prosím podívejte na pravý graf. Pravý graf ukazuje, že kampaně, které jsme spustili v Dubnu a Srpnu, byly poměrně úspěšné. Vidím, ale v květnu a září po spuštění kampaní prodeje klesly. Ano, ale těchle poklesů se lze vyvarovat. Očekávám, že pokud zvýšené prodeje udržíme, ukáží prodejní výsledky za letošní rok nárůst oproti minulému roku. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to speak more of your target language? Then you'll need to know more words and phrases. Except the problem is, memorizing word lists is painful and boring. But the good news is you don't have to memorize for hours to boost your vocabulary and speak more. You can glance through our printable visual flashcards and easily master over 1,500 of the most common words. How to learn the 1,500 most common words with visual flashcards. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, how to get free access to visual flashcards, two, how to learn words easily without painful memorization, and three, why these flashcards help you acquire words faster than typical word lists or digital flashcards. But first, if you're not a member of our language learning system, which gives you free access to this special resource, then be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account right now. First, what are visual flashcards? Visual flashcards are printable, illustrated flashcards that teach you over 1,500 of the most common words across 60 topics. Just download the PDFs, print them out in two-sided format, cut out the flashcards, and start learning. Now, how can you learn words fast with these flashcards? The best way to learn anything is not to cram or memorize for hours a day, but to go through and review the words for just a few minutes a day every day. That repetition is what locks the language into your memory, and eventually you'll get used to the words like it's your own native language. 
Also, all flashcards include an image for each word, so your brain can easily create a connection between the image and the word and help you remember it better, instead of just relying on text, as is the case with most digital flashcards and word lists. Third, here's how you learn with the visual flashcards. After printing and cutting them out, you can go through the cards and review them for just a few minutes a day. Also, be sure to read the words out loud for speaking practice. You can also test yourself by looking at the meaning and trying to recall the word in the target language. If you don't remember, just flip the card over to get the answer. You can also have a friend test you. And you can place the cards on the objects they represent around your home. So for the card for the window, you can tape that to the window, and you'll quickly memorize the word after seeing it a few times. So if you want to speak more of your target language and add over 1,500 words to your vocabulary, download our printable visual flashcards right now for free. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account and get free access. If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. How to learn the 100 most common words on loop. In this guide, you'll discover one, why 100 words is all you need as a beginner, and two, how to master these 100 words without painful memorization with our free study tools. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, why are 100 words all you need as a beginner? Because overwhelming yourself with 1,000 words is not a good way to learn. And because of something called the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto Principle. This states that 80% of your progress and results will come from just 20% of what you've done, meaning you'll get the best results from focusing on a few things instead of trying to do everything. In the case of language, learning the top 100 words helps you understand a lot of the language. So instead of overwhelming yourself by learning all the words, many of which you won't hear in daily conversations, you'll get much better results by focusing on the top 100 words, like you, this, that, today, Friday, and so on. And you can easily learn 100 words in a month if you learn around three to four words a day every day. In month two, you can learn 100 more and slowly build your way up. Second, how can you do this? You can learn the 100 most common words with our learning system. When you join, just look for the vocabulary menu and click on 100 most common words in the drop-down menu. This study tool is 100% free for all members. For each word, you get a picture, the audio pronunciation, and an example sentence. You can simply review this list for a few minutes a day. Write the words out in a notebook, or you can use our slideshow tool and master these words without painful memorization. Just click on View Slideshow and sit back and follow along. The slideshow will play one word after the other, along with the audio pronunciation, the meaning, the image, and the example sentence. You can also set it to play the target language only, without the translations. And even better, if you set the slideshow to play on loop, you can keep the words playing nonstop until they're stuck in your brain. Just imagine, you could spend a few days listening to the words on loop, master them all without hard work, and speak a lot of your target language. So, if you want to master the 100 most common words with our free word list and slideshow tool, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. How to learn the 100 most common words on loop. In this guide, you'll discover, one, why 100 words is all you need as a beginner, and two, how to master these 100 words without painful memorization with our free study tools. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. 
just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, why are 100 words all you need as a beginner? Because overwhelming yourself with 1,000 words is not a good way to learn. And because of something called the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto Principle, this states that 80% of your progress and results will come from just 20% of what you've done, meaning you'll get the best results from focusing on a few things instead of trying to do everything. In the case of language, learning the top 100 words helps you understand a lot of the language. So instead of overwhelming yourself by learning all the words, many of which you won't hear in daily conversations, you'll get much better results by focusing on the top 100 words, like you, this, that, today, Friday, and so on. And you can easily learn 100 words in a month if you learn around three to four words a day every day. In month two, you can learn 100 more and slowly build your way up. Second, how can you do this? You can learn the 100 most common words with our learning system. When you join, just look for the vocabulary menu and click on 100 most common words in the drop-down menu. This study tool is 100% free for all members. For each word, you get a picture, the audio pronunciation, and an example sentence. You can simply review this list for a few minutes a day. Write the words out in a notebook, or you can use our slideshow tool and master these words without painful memorization. Just click on View Slideshow and sit back and follow along. The slideshow will play one word after the other, along with the audio pronunciation, the meaning, the image, and the example sentence. You can also set it to play the target language only, without the translations. And even better, if you set the slideshow to play on loop, you can keep the words playing nonstop until they're stuck in your brain. Just imagine, you could spend a few days listening to the words on loop, master them all without hard work, and speak a lot of your target language. So, if you want to master the 100 most common words with our free word list and slideshow tool, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is... How to read the fast and easy way with extensive reading. Is reading in your target language hard for you? Do you have to stop and look up words every other second? If so, then you're probably avoiding reading because it can be hard when you're going about it the wrong way. And it's a shame because reading improves your language overall and by avoiding it, you're slowing down your own progress. Luckily, there is an easy way to master reading, even if you're a beginner and even if you've struggled before. And today, you'll discover two things you need to make reading easy, all about the extensive reading learning strategy and six ways to practice reading with our program. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Learning to Cook Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, how to talk about your weekend. If you can't talk about your weekend plans, then this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases like sleep, hang out with friends, play video games, and much more. Fourth, how to count from zero to 100. Do you know how to count from one to 10? How about to 100? This quick word list will get you mastering numbers in just a minute. Fifth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. 
Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to read the fast and easy way with extensive reading. You've probably tried reading a book in your target language before. Maybe you bought a book and thought you could learn from it, and chances are it's now sitting on a shelf. What happened? Most likely there were too many words you didn't know. You had to stop and look each one up, and you gave up. Reading in a new language can be tough if you approach it the wrong way. But it's a powerful skill that you shouldn't ignore, because reading spills into other areas as well. You'll learn words and grammar patterns much easier through reading than anything else, and this will improve your speaking skills as well. Also, reading is something you can do without a teacher, on your own time and on your own terms, which makes it an easy skill to practice. So how can you make it easier? There are two tricks to making reading easier. First, the two things you need to make reading easy. First, you need level appropriate reading material. The books you struggled with were likely not for your level. And if you had something for your level, you wouldn't need a dictionary every five seconds. Where can you get level-appropriate reading material? Just look for our extensive reading books on the site. And, by the way, extensive reading is a learning strategy where you read as many level-appropriate books as possible, skip over words you don't know, and keep on reading. The goal here is quantity. You improve because of all the books you go through. And these books are super simple. At the beginner levels, just a line or two per page. And if this sounds like a book for elementary school kids, then you're right. If you're brand new to reading, then that's your level. At intermediate and advanced levels, they're much more complex, with stories and many words on the pages. But if you're brand new and if you've just learned the alphabet, then the absolute beginner ones are perfect for you. Now, what about the second trick? The second trick is you need to use text and audio at the same time. Why? So you can listen and follow along. You know how to pronounce every word, and on your second read-through, you'll be able to read it all without the audio, because you've already heard the words. The good news is, all of our reading lessons on our site give you the text and audio, so you can easily read, follow along, and hear the pronunciation. So, now that you know the two tricks, you still have to implement them, right? Well, here's how. Part 2. Six ways to practice reading with our program. Remember, you need two things. One, level-appropriate reading material, and two, a combination of text and audio, so you can listen and follow along. You get that with all of our lessons on the site, including our extensive reading books. So, the first way to improve your reading is, read the extensive reading books that are appropriate for your level. You'll find them in your lesson library. We have books for all levels, absolute beginner, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The goal of extensive reading is to read as much as possible, skip words you don't know, and keep going. To make it even easier, these books come with audio and line-by-line -line breakdown and translations, so you can follow along with the audio and never miss a word. By the way, you can print these books out, so you can keep them and review them at any time. The second way is read the line-by-line -line dialogues for every lesson you take. The line-by-line -line dialogue is just a breakdown of the lesson conversation, where you get the translation, transliteration, and audio for each of the lines. With this tool, you can just read the text or combine text and audio and listen and follow along. The third way is print out the lesson notes and review the lesson dialogue. Having the printed physical material is a lot easier than logging in and looking for the notes for a certain lesson. But you can always read the lesson notes on the site, too. The fourth way to practice reading is, if you're learning a language that requires romanization, like Japanese, Hebrew, or Korean, and if you're a lower level, then read the romanized version. Yes, it's a bit of a crutch, but you can easily see how the words are written and pronounced. Then, switch over to the target language and reread. You can do this with all of our lessons with the dialogue tool. The fifth way, ask your Premium Plus teacher for reading assignments, and you'll get these weekly. One helpful trick is to record yourself reading out loud and send that to your teacher. They'll correct your pronunciation and provide feedback. The sixth way is the most important one and will give you the biggest bang for your buck. 
The sixth tactic is reread again and again. Whether you're using our extensive reading books, the dialogue, or anything else, reading once is not enough. Coming back to reread is how you start reading faster. It's how you remember all those words for good, and it's how you start understanding everything at a glance. So go ahead and visit our site and look for the extensive reading books. You can access them for free with a free lifetime account. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to speak more with your personal language learning profile. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. This month, you're getting 20 PDF ebooks and workbooks for language learning. They are ebooks on the most common adjectives, nouns, and verbs, slang words and phrases, plus workbooks teaching you greetings, how to talk about time, and much more. You'll see all of our 20 ebooks and workbooks on the inside. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is... Čistit Brush Čistit Chi skit brush Je velmi důležité čistit si zuby dvakrát denně. It's very important to brush your teeth twice a day. Je velmi důležité čistit si zuby dvakrát denně. Sprchovat se. Shower. Sprchovat se. Sprchovat se. Shower. Ten muž se sprchuje ráno. The man showers in the morning. Ten muž se Sprchuje ráno. Umývat. Wash. Umývat. Umývat. Wash. Žena si umývá svůj obličej. The woman is washing her face. Žena si umývá svůj obličej. Odjet. Leaf. Odjet. Odjet. Leaf. Odjíždím brzy zítra ráno. I leave early tomorrow morning. Odjíždím brzy zítra ráno. Šek. Ček. Šek. Šek. Ček. Mohu platit šekem? Can I pay by check? Mohu platit šekem? 66 66 66 66 66 Běžel jsem 66 minut I ran for 66 minutes 
běžel jsem 66 minut. 77. 77. 77. 7 de sat 7 77 číslo jeho dveří je 77 his door number is 77 číslo jeho dveří je 77 88 88 88 88 88 Firma má 88 zaměstnanců. The company has 88 employees. Firma má 80 Osm za městnanců. Devadesát devět. Devadesát devět. Deva de sát devět. Jeho dědeček je devadesát devět let starý. His grandfather is 99 years old. Jeho dědeček je 99 let starý. 100 100 100 100 100 Žil sto let. He has lived 100 years. Žil sto let. Obývací pokoj. Living room. Obývací pokoj. Obývací pokoj. Living room. Prostorný obývací pokoj může sloužit jako prostor pro rodinné aktivity. A wide living room can be used for family activities. Prostorný obývací pokoj může sloužit jako prostor pro rodinné aktivity. Jídelna Dining room Jídelna. Jídelna. Dining room. Jídelna je vedle kuchyně. The dining room is next to the kitchen. Jídelna je vedle kuchyně. Chodba. Hallway. Chodba. Chodba. Hallway. Neběhejte na chodbách. Don't run in the hallways. Neběhejte na chodbách. Byt. Apartment. Byt. Byt. Apartment. Mám malý byt v New Yorku. I have a small apartment in New York City. Mám malý byt v New Yorku. Dům. House. Dům. Dům. House. Kde je ten dům? Where is the house? Kde je ten dům cvičit, exercise, cvičit, cvičit, 
exercise. Plavání je dobrým cvičením. Swimming is a good way to exercise. Plavání je dobrým cvičením. Otevřený. Open. Otevřený. O te vře ní. Open. Tenisový kurt je otevřený i večer. The tennis court is open in the evening too. Tenisový kurt je otevřený i večer. Poslouchat. Listen. Poslouchat. Poslouchat. Listen. Poslouchat hudbu ve sluchátkách. Listen to music with headphones. Poslouchat hudbu ve sluchátkách. Narozeniny. Birthday. Narozeniny. Na ro ze ni ni. Birthday. Příští týden mám narozeniny a budu mít narozeninovou oslavu. Next Tuesday is my birthday and I'm having a birthday party. Příští týden mám narozeniny a budu mít narozeninovou oslavu. Odejít do důchodu. Retire. Odejít do důchodu. O de jít do důchodu. Retire. Můj dědeček chce letos odejít do důchodu. My grandfather wants to retire in a year. Můj dědeček chce letos odejít do důchodu. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Nashledanou! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is venku, outside. Venku, venku, outside. Oblékni si bundu, protože venku je zima. Put on your jacket because it's cold outside. Oblékni si bundu, protože venku je zima. Uvnitř. Inside. Uvnitř. Uvnitř. Inside. Co je uvnitř? What is inside? Co je uvnitř? Vlevo, left, vlevo, vlevo, left. Je to vlevo. It's on the left side. Je to vlevo. Vpravo, right, vpravo, vpravo. Right. Na příštím semaforu zatočte vpravo. Turn right at the next light. Na 
příštím semaforu zatočte vpravo. První. First. První. Pr. Vní. First. Na první křižovatce doprava. First intersection on the right. Na první křižovatce doprava. Druhý. Second. Druhý. Druhý. Second. Koupili si druhý dům na Havaji. They bought a second house in Hawaii. Koupili si druhý dům na Havaji. Třetí. Third. Třetí. Třetí. Third. Můj účet za kreditní kartu je splatný třetího každého měsíce. My credit card bill is due on the first of every month. Můj účet za kreditní kartu je splatný třetího každého měsíce. Mídlo. Soap. Mídlo. Mí. Dlo. Soap. Můžete mi dát mídlo? Can you give me some soap? Můžete mi dát mídlo? Zubní kartáček. Toothbrush. Zubní kartáček. Zubní kartáček. Toothbrush. Jeden zubní kartáček, prosím. One toothbrush, please. Jeden zubní kartáček, prosím. Zubní pasta, toothpaste. Zubní pasta, zubní pasta, toothpaste. Došla nám zubní pasta. We are out of toothpaste. Došla nám zubní pasta. Šampón. Šampu. Šampón. Šampón. Šampu. Kolik stojí šampón? How much is a šampu? Kolik stojí šampón? Informace. Information. Informace. Informace. Information. Zhromažďuji informace z internetu. I gather information from the internet. Zhromažďu Ji informace z internetu. Sedlák. Farmer. Sedlák. Sedlák. Farmer. Sedlák je na pšeničném poli. The farmer is in the wheat field. Sed. Lák je na pšeničném poli. Sekretářka. Secretary. Sekretářka. Sekretářka. Secretary. Moje sekretářka je spořádaná a pečlivá. My secretary is organized and detailed. Moje sekretářka 
je spořádaná a pečlivá. Bankéř. Banker. Bankéř. Bankéř. Banker. Můj bratr je bankéř. My brother is a banker. Můj bratr je bankéř. Spisovatel. Writer. Spisovatel. Spi so va tel. Writer. Je má nejoblíbenější spisovatelka, protože její knihy jsou tak dojemné. She's my favorite writer because her books are so moving. Je má nejoblíbenější spisovatelka, protože její knihy jsou tak dojemné. Zkusit. Try. Zkusit. Zkusit. Try. Zkouším vstávat každý den v šest. I'm trying to get up at six every day. Zkouším vstávat každý den v Šest. Změřit. Measure. Změřit. Změřit. Measure. Přibližně to stačí. Nemusíš změřit každý milimetr. More or less is fine. You don't have to measure every millimeter. Přibližně. To stačí. Nemusíš změřit každý milimetr. Ukládat. Keep. Ukládat. Ukládat. Keep. Dokumenty ukládám ve složce. I keep the documents in the file. Dokumenty ukládám ve složce. Čekat. Wait. Čekat. Čekat. Wait. Jak dlouho budeme čekat? How long will we wait? Jak dlouho? Budeme čekat. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Nasledanou! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly so you never forget the words. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is Konvice. Kettle. Konvice. Kon. Ve. C. Kettle. Konvice je na plotně. The kettle is on the stove. Kon vi se je na plotně. Hrnec. Pot. Hrnec. Hrnec. Pot. Ten hrnec je deset let starý. That pot is ten years old. Ten hrnec je deset let starý. 
Jaba, frog, Jaba, Jaba, frog. Ta zelená Jaba je ve vodě. The green frog is in the water. Ta zelená Jaba je ve vodě. Holub. Pigeon. Holub. Ho. Lup. Pigeon. Nekrmte ty holuby. Don't feed the pigeons. Ne krmte ty holuby. Turistický průvodce. Guidebook. Turistický průvodce. Tu rys tický průvodce. Guidebook. Turistický průvodce vám poskytne užitečné informace pro vaši dovolenou. A guidebook will give you helpful information for your trip. Turistický průvodce vám poskytne užitečné informace pro vaši dovolenou. Vchod. Entrance. Vchod. Vchod. Entrance. Sejděte se se svým průvodcem u vchodu do hotelu. Meet your tour guide at the entrance to the hotel. Sejděte se se svým průvodcem u vchodu do hotelu. Průvodce. Tour guide. Průvodce. Průvodce. Tour guide. Sejděte se se svým průvodcem u vchodu do hotelu. Meet your tour guide at the entrance to the hotel. Sejděte se se svým průvodcem u vchodu do hotelu. Rezervace. Reservation. Rezervace. Re Zer, va, ce. Reservation. Rezervace na dnešní večer. Reservation for tonight. Re, zer, va, ce. Na dnešní večer. Cestovní pas. Passport. Cestovní pas. Cestovní Pas. Passport. Máte cestovní pas? Do you have a passport? Máte cestovní pas? Informatika. Computer science. Informatika. Informatika. Computer science. Hodiny informatiky jsou v pondělí. Computer science classes are on Mondays. Hodiny informatiky jsou v pondělí. Matematika. Math. Matematika. Ma te ma ty ka. Math. Můj oblíbený předmět ve škole je matematika. My favorite subject in school is math. Můj oblíbený předmět ve škole je matematika. Cítit se. Feel. Cítit se. Cítit se. Feel. 
cítit lásku je jako cítit se živý. To feel love is to feel alive. Cítit lásku je jako cítit se živý. Kreslit. Draw. Kreslit. Kreslit. Draw. Umělec kreslí obrázek. The artist draws a picture. Umělec kreslí obrázek. Plánovat. Plan. Plánovat. Plánovat. Plan. Naplánujeme tu dovolenou po Evropě. We'll plan the holiday to Europe. Na plá nu je me tu do vo le no po Evropě. Výprodej. Sale. Výprodej. Výprodej. Sale. V oddělení obuvy je velký výprodej. There's a big sale in the shoe department. V oddělení obuvy je velký výprodej. Nakupování. Shopping. Nakupování. Nakupování. Shopping. Miluje více nakupování než mě. She loves to go shopping more than she loves me. Miluje více nakupování než mě. Čtvrtý. Fourth. Čtvrtý. Čtvrtý. Fourth. K mým čtvrtým narozeninám mi mamka dala knihu. For my fourth birthday, my mother gave me a book. K mým čtvrtým narozeninám mi mamka dala knihu. Pátý. Fifth. Pátý. Pátý. Fifth. Ty bydlíš v pátém poschodí, nebo ne? You live on the fifth floor, don't you? Ty bydlíš v pátém poschodí, nebo ne? Šestý. Sixth. Šestý. Šestý. Sixth. Ke svým Šestým narozeninám jsem dostal oblečení do školy. I received school clothes for my sixth birthday. Ke svým šestým narozeninám jsem dostal oblečení do školy. Sedmý. Seventh. Sedmý. Sedmý. Seventh. Přečtěte si prosím sedmý odstavec smlouvy. Please read the seventh paragraph of the contract. Přečtěte si prosím sedmý odstavec smlouvy. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Nasledanou. Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. 
This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is Conditioner 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 con de -si o ner Conditioner Opláchnout s kondicionérem Rinse with conditioner O pláchnout s kondicionérem Deodorant 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 De o do rant Deodorant Po umytí použijte deodorant, abyste předešli zápachu. Put on deodorant after washing to keep you from smelling bad. Po umytí použijte deodorant, abyste předešli zápachu. Tekuté mídlo. Liquid soap. Tekuté mídlo. Tekuté mídlo. Liquid soap. Máte tekuté mídlo? Do you have liquid soap? Máte tekuté mídlo? Kachna. Duck. Kachna. Kachna. Duck. Kachničky sledují matku kachnu. The ducklings follow the mother duck. Kachničky sledují matku kachnu. Vrána. Crow. Vrána. Vrána. Crow. Vrány patří mezi nejchytřejší ptáky. Crows are among the smartest birds. Vrány patří mezi nejchytřejší ptáky. Šváb. Cockroach. Šváb. Šváb. Cockroach. Šváb. Má šest nohou, křídla a tykadla. A cockroach has six legs, wings and antennae. Šváb má šest nohou, křídla a tykadla. Komár. Mosquito. Komár. Komár. Mosquito. Ten odporný malý komár mě štípl do ruky. That nasty little mosquito bit me on my arm. Ten odporný malý komár mě štípl do ruky. Stavební dělník. Construction worker. Stavební dělník. Sta web ní děl ník. Construction worker. Stavební dělník měří dřevo. The construction worker is measuring wood. Sta web ní děl ník měří dřevo. Žena v domácnosti. Homemaker. Žena v domácnosti. Žena v domácnosti. Homemaker. Nejpilnějším pracantem kdekoli je žena v domácnosti. The hardest worker anywhere is the homemaker. Nejpilnějším pracantem kdekoli je žena v domácnosti. 
let, ice, let, let, ice. Na okně se vytvořil let. Ice has formed on the window. Na okně se vytvořil let. Dějepis. History. Dějepis. Dě je pis. History. Z dějepisu se můžeš hodně naučit, protože věci mají tendenci se opakovat. You can learn a lot from history as things tend to repeat themselves. Z dě je pisu se můžeš hodně naučit, protože věci mají tendenci se opakovat. Zeměpis. Geography. Zeměpis. Zeměpis. Geography. Jeho hlavním zaměřením je zeměpis a vedlejším psychologie. He is a geography major with a minor in psychology. Jeho hlavním zaměřením je zeměpis a vedlejším psychologie. Obchod. Store. Obchod. Obchod. Store. Jdu do obchodu koupit mléko a vejce. I'm going to the store to buy milk and eggs. Jdu do obchodu koupit mléko a vejce. Trh. Market. Trh. Trh. Market. Na trhu mají hodně druhů ovoce. They have many kinds of fruit in the market. Na trhu mají hodně druhů ovoce. Cena. Price. Cena. Cena. Price. Jaká je cena? What is the price? Jaká je cena? Kupon. 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 Mám kupon na 50% slevu, tak se najesme tady. I have a coupon for 50% off, so let's eat there. Mám kupon na 50% slevu, tak se najesme tady. Ulička. Aisle. Ulička. U, lič, ka. Aisle. Chtěla bych sedět na sedadle v uličce pro případ mimořádné události. I would like to sit on an aisle seat in case there is an emergency. Chtěla bych sedět na sedadle v uličce pro případ mimořádné události. Taška. Bag. 
Tashka. Tashka. Back. Moje taška je příliš těžká. My bag is too heavy. Moje taška je příliš těžká. Fotografie. Photograph. Fotografie. Fotografie. Photograph. Tato fotografie nevypadá moc dobře. This photograph doesn't look good. Tato fotografie nevypadá moc dobře. Sodovka. Soda. Sodovka. Sodovka. Soda. Sodovka obsahuje mnoho cukru. Soda contains a lot of sugar. Sodovka obsahuje mnoho cukru. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time! Naschledanou! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is devati. Ninth. Devati. Devati. Ninth. Ramadan je devátým měsícem muslimského roku. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year. Ramadan je devátým měsícem muslimského roku. Desátý. Tenth. Desátý. Desátý. Tenth. Na svůj desátý pokus jsem konečně dal gól. I finally made a goal on my tenth attempt. Na svůj desátý pokus jsem konečně dal gól. Osmý. Eighth. Osmý. Osmý. Eighth. Bydlím v osmém patře. I live on the eighth floor. Bydlím v osmém patře. Žiletka. Shaving razor. Žiletka. Žiletka. Shaving razor. Muž si holí vousy pomocí jednorázové žiletky. The man is shaving his beard with a disposable shaving razor. Muž si holí vousy pomocí jednorázové žiletky. Žínka. Washcloth. Žínka. Žínka. Washcloth. Chlapec si myje obličej žínkou. The boy is washing his face with a washcloth. Chlapec si myje obličej žínkou. Ručník. 
stało. Rucznik. Rucznik. Towel. Můžete mi dát ručník? Can you give me a towel? Můžete mi dát ručník? Lžíce. Spoon. Lžíce. Lžíce. Spoon. Vidličky, lžíce a nože jsou příbory. Forks, spoons and knives are eating utensils. Vidličky, lžíce a nože jsou příbory. Vidlička, fork. Vidlička. Vidlička. Fork. Vidlička je na špinavém talíři. The fork is on the dirty plate. Vidlička je na špinavém talíři. Nůž. Knife. Nůž. Nůž, knife. Mohl bys mi podat ten nůž? Could you pass me the knife? Mohl bys mi podat ten nůž? Talíř, plate. Talíř, talíř, plate. Tenhle talíř je jiný než tamhle ten. This plate is different from that one. Tenhle talíř je jiný než tamhle ten. Včela. B. Včela. Včela. B. Včela. Opiluje tu žlutou květinu. The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. Včela opiluje tu žlutou květinu. Mravenec. And. Mravenec. Mravenec. And. Červený mravenec na mraveništi. Red ant on ant hill. Červený mravenec na mraveništi. Hat. Snake. Hat. Hat. Snake. Hat je stočený a připravený k útoku. The snake is coiled and ready to strike. Hat je stočený a připravený k útoku. Mléko. Milk. Mléko. Mléko. Milk. Mléko je důležitým zdrojem vápníku pro děti a dospělé. Milk is an important source of calcium for kids and adults. Mléko je důležitým zdrojem vápníku pro děti a dospělé. Návrhář Designer Návrhář na vr hář. Designer. Existuje mnoho druhů návrhářů, ale já jsem módní návrhář. There are many kinds of designers, but I'm a fashion designer. Existuje mnoho druhů návrhářů, ale já jsem módní 
návrhář. Umělec. Artist. Umělec. Umělec. Artist. Mnoho umělců se dlouho snaží, než dosáhnou úspěchu. Many artists struggle for a long time before achieving success. Mnoho umělců se dlouho snaží, než dosáhnou úspěchu. Voják. Soldier. Voják. Voják. Soldier. Deset tisíc vojáků bylo odesláno na místo bitvy. Ten thousand soldiers were dispatched to the site of the battle. Deset tisíc vojáků bylo odesláno na místo bitvy. Podnikatel. Entrepreneur. Podnikatel. Podnikatel. Entrepreneur. Podnikatelé mění svět svými nápady. Entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. Podnikatelé mění svět svými nápady. Krátká povídka. Short story. Krátká povídka. Krátká povídka. Short story. Čtu jen krátké povídky. I only read short stories. Čtu jen krátké povídky. Složka. Folder. Složka. Složka. Folder. Dala jsem dokumenty do složky. I put the documents in a folder. Dala jsem dokumenty do složky. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Nashledanou. Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. This month, you're getting 20 PDF ebooks and workbooks for language learning. They are ebooks on the most common adjectives, nouns, and verbs, slang words and phrases, plus workbooks teaching you greetings, how to talk about time, and much more. You'll see all of our 20 ebooks and workbooks on the inside. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Want to learn your target language in 10 minutes a day or less? Mastering a language does take some time, but you can learn in just 10 minutes a day if you have the right resources. Five easy ways to learn in under 10 minutes a day. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, why learning in small chunks of time is the best approach if you want to become fluent, and two, the five resources you can use to learn the language fast. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, how can you learn a language in 10 minutes or less? Well, first you need resources that help you learn in small chunks of time. And once you can put in a few minutes a day every day, then you'll have a strong learning routine. You'll finally be consistent, and this consistency will carry you to fluency in the long run. And if 10 minutes isn't enough, you can easily add more time once you have that learning routine. So if you're a beginner who dreams of becoming fluent, and if you don't yet have a learning routine going, then be sure to apply these tips. Now, what kind of resources help you learn in 10 minutes or less? Number one, 
our free Word of the Day email lessons. Actually, this will only take you one or two minutes at most. Every day, you get a new word sent directly to your email. And all you have to do is check the meaning, hear the pronunciation, and review the example sentences. This is an effortless way to boost your vocabulary in no time at all. Number two, our three to 15 minute language lessons. If you're learning with our system, you get audio and video lessons by real teachers that are just a few minutes long. And in those few minutes, you, one, hear a practical conversation. Two, get every word and grammar rule explained. Three, have the conversation repeated several times just to help it stick. And four, learn some cultural tips related to the lesson. So for those few minutes, you get the best possible return for your time. You learn vocabulary, grammar, conversation, culture, improve your listening, and you can practice speaking if you repeat along, and reading if you read along with the lesson notes. Number three, drill words with our flashcards. If you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more, you can take those few minutes and drill vocabulary with our spaced repetition flashcards. A study session could be anywhere from three to seven minutes long, depending on how many words you need to review. Just look for flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. Number four, learn with our PDF conversation cheat sheets. If you want to spend a few minutes mastering words and phrases around a specific topic, like weather or talking to family, then check out our PDF conversation cheat sheets. You can download these to your phone or print them and read through whenever you have a few spare minutes. Just look for our occasional cheat sheet emails when you join our learning system. And number five, practice writing with our free writing worksheets. You can print these and spend 10 minutes writing words out. With these worksheets, you get words and phrases for common topics like introducing yourself, must know adjectives, and more. Again, to get these worksheets, you'll need to be on our email list. We email out these worksheets several times a month. So, if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory, Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the writing a journal cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll be able to keep a diary in your target language and talk about your day. Inside, you learn phrases for common daily activities from morning to night. Second, the language learning starter pack PDF ebook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this ebook, you get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is... Pánev na smažení. Frying pan. Pánev na smažení. Pánev na smažení. Frying pan. Tato pánev na smažení je velmi levná. This frying pan is very cheap. Tato pánev na smažení je velmi levná. Prkínko. Cutting board. Prkínko. Prkínko. Cutting board. Dřevěné prkínko. Wooden cutting board. Dřevěné prkínko. Umyvadlo. Sink. Umyvadlo. Umyvadlo. Sink. Umyvadlo je téměř plné. The sink is almost full. 
umyvadlo je téměř plné. Mísa, bowl, mísa, mí, sa, bowl. Mísa je prázdná. The bowl is empty. Mísa je prázdná. Východ. Exit. Východ. Východ. Exit. Kde je východ? Where is the exit? Kde je východ? Mapa. Map. Mapa. Ma. Pa. Map. Podívejte se na mapu a najděte si cestu k cíli. Check the map to find your way to your destination. Podívejte se na mapu a najděte si cestu k cíli. Kufr. Suitcase. Kufr. Kufr. Suitcase. Omylem jsem si vzal špatný kufr. I took the wrong suitcase by mistake. Omylem jsem si vzal špatný kufr. Turista. Tourist. Turista. Tu Turist. Turista fotí zvířata. The tourist is taking pictures of the animals. Tu rista fotí zvířata. Politika. Politics. Politika. Po li ty ka. Politics. Politik mluví o politice. The politician is talking about politics. Politik mluví o politice. Biologie. Biology. Biologie. Bi Jo, lo, gi, je. Biology. Biologie je studiem živých organismů. Biology is the study of living organisms. Bi, jo, lo, gi, je. Je studiem živých organismů. Chemie. Chemistry. Chemie. Chemie. Chemistry. Laboratoř je místem, kde se učíme o chemii. The laboratory is a place to learn about chemistry. Laboratoř je místem, kde se učíme o Chemii. Fyzika. Physics. Fyzika. Fyzika. Physics. Znám základy fyziky. I know the basics of physics. Znám základy fyziky. Ekonomie. Economics. Ekonomie. Ekonomie. Economics. Ekonomie je dobrým základem pro mnoho oborů. Economics is a good background for many fields. Ekonomie je dobrým základem pro mnoho oborů. Položit. Put. Položit. Po 
lo žit. Put. Zkus prosím položit tuhle krabici na tu nejvyšší poličku. Please try to put this box on the top shelf. Zkus prosím položit tuhle krabici na tu nejvyšší poličku. Vzpomenout si. Remember. Vzpomenout si. Vzpomenout si. Remember. Zkusím si vzpomenout. I will try to remember. Zkusím si vzpomenout. Držet. Hold. Držet. Držet. Hold. Drž se zábradlí. Hold on to the handrail. Drž se zábradlí. Nákupní vozík. Shopping cart. Nákupní vozík. Nákupní vozík. Shopping cart. Nákupní vozík je prázdný. The shopping cart is empty. Nákupní vozík je prázdný. Igelitová taška. Plastic bag. Igelitová taška. Igelitová taška. Plastic bag. Muž nese igelitovou tašku plnou nákupu. The man is carrying a plastic bag full of groceries. Muž nese igelitovou tašku plnou nákupu. Komedie. 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 Komedy. Dívají se na komedii a smějí se. They are watching a comedy and laughing. Dívají se na komedii a smějí se. Román. Novo. Román. Román. Novo. Mám rád napínavé romány. I like suspense novels. Mám rád napínavé romány. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Naschledanou! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is cacao, cocoa, cacao, ka ka o, cocoa. Teplý hrnek kaká je uklidňující během studených zimních nocí. A warm cup of cocoa is comforting on a cold winter night. Teplý hrnek kaká je uklidňující během studených zimních nocí. Nealkoholický nápoj. Soft drink. Nealkoholický nápoj. Nealkoholický nápoj. Na boj. Soft drink. Nealkoholický nápoj 
sledem. Soft drink with ice. Ne alkoholický nápoj sledem. Juice. 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 Date si juice. Will you have juice? Date si čus, police na knihy, bookshelf, police na knihy, police na knihy, bookshelf, police na knihy je plná knih. The bookshelf is full of books. Police na knihy je plná knih. Postel. Bed. Postel. Po. Stel. Bed. Koupil jsem novou postel. I bought a new bed. Koupil jsem novou postel. Zrcadlo. Mirror. Zrcadlo. Zrcadlo. Mirror. To zrcadlo vysí na stěně. The mirror is hanging on the wall. To zrcadlo vysí na stěně. Komoda. Dresser. Komoda. Ko -mo -da. Dresser. Ve svém domě nemám komodu. In my house I don't have a dresser. Ve svém domě nemám komodu. Zametat. Sweep. Zametat. Za me tat. Sweep. Je tu tak zaprášeno. Zameť podlahu. It's so dusty here. Sweep the floor. Je tu tak zaprášeno. Zameť podlahu. Uklízet. Put away. Uklízet. U Klí z Put away. Uklidil jsem nádobí. I put away the dishes. Uklidil jsem nádobí. Vytírat. Mop. Vytírat. Vytírat. Mop. Vylil jsem džus. Takže musím vytřít podlahu. I spilled the juice, so I'll mop the floor. Vylil jsem juice, takže musím vytřít podlahu. Servírka. Waitress. Servírka. Servírka. Waitress. Servírka drží tác se sklenicemi. The waitress is holding a tray with glasses. Servírka drží tác se sklenicemi. Fahrenheit. 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 Voda zamrzá při 32 stupních Fahrenheita. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Voda zamrzá při 32 stupních Fahrenheita. Teplota. Temperature. Teplota. 
Teplota. Temperature. Teplota je pod nulou. The temperature is below zero. Teplota je pod nulou. Vlhko. Humid. Vlhko. Vlhko. Humid. V srpnu je vlhko. It's humid in August. V srpnu je vlhko. Vietrno. Windy. Vietrno. Vietrno. Windy. Zítra bude zima a větrno, takže si vezměte šálu. Tomorrow will be cold and windy, so wear a scarf. Zítra bude zima a větrno, takže si vezměte šálu. Hřiště. Playground. Hřiště. Hřiště. Playground. Je na tom hřišti taky skluzavka? Is there also a slide on the playground? Je na tom hřišti taky skluzavka? Bazén. Pool. Bazén. Ba zen. Pool. V létě plaveme každý den ve veřejném bazénu. We swim at the public pool every day in the summer. V létě plaveme každý den ve veřejném bazénu. Tenis. 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 Hrát tenis na tenisovém kurtu. Play tenis on a tennis court. Hrát tenis na tenisovém kurtu. Košíková. Basketball. Košíková. Ko Ší, ko, va. Basketball. Většina hráčů košíkové je vysoká. Most basketball players are tall. Většina hráčů košíkové je vysoká. Liter. 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 Kolik litrů mléka si koupil? How many liters of milk did you buy? Kolik litrů mléka si koupil? Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Naschledanou. Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Czech. Hi everybody, my name is Veronika. Welcome to the 800 Core Czech Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Czech. Okay, let's get started. First is... Rýže Rice Rýže Rýže Rice Rýže je důležitým zdrojem sacharidů v mnoha jídelníčcích. Rice is an important source of carbohydrates in many diets. Rýže je důležitým zdrojem sacharidů 
v mnoha jídelníčcích. Chléb, bread, chléb, chléb, bread, mléko a chléb, prosím. Milk and bread, please. Mléko a chléb, prosím. Vejce, egg, vejce, vejce. Egg. Velikost pštrosího vejce je pozoruhodná. The size of an ostrich's egg is remarkable. Velikost pštrosího vejce je pozoruhodná. Nudle. Noodle. Nudle. Nud le. Noodle. Instantní nudle jsou oblíbeným lehkým jídlem. Instant noodles are a popular light meal. Instantní nudle jsou oblíbeným lehkým jídlem. Budík. Alarm clock. Budík. Bu, dík, alarm clock. Nastavit budík. Set an alarm clock. Nastavit budík. Dveře, door. Dveře, dveře, door. Prosím, zavřete dveře. Venku je hluk. Please close the door. It is loud outside. Prosím, zavřete dveře. Venku je hluk. Dálkový ovladač. Remote control. Dálkový ovladač. Dálkový ovladač. Remote control. Podej mi prosím ten dálkový ovladač. Please, pass me the remote control. Podej mi prosím ten dálkový ovladač. Utřít. Wipe. Utřít. Utřít. Wipe. Nezapomeň utřít tu podlahu. Don't forget to wipe the floor. Nezapomeň utřít tu podlahu. Jídelní lístek. Menu. Jídelní lístek. Jídelní lístek. Menu. Mohu se prosím podívat na jídelní lístek? Can I see the menu, please? Mohu se prosím podívat na jídelní lístek? Časopis. Magazín. Časopis. Časopis. Magazine. Žena si čte časopis. The woman is reading a magazine. Žena si čte časopis. Audio kniha. Audiobook. Audio kniha. Audio kniha. Audiobook. Poslouchám audioknihy na cestě do práce. I listen to audiobooks during my commute to work. Poslouchám audioknihy na cestě do práce. Videohra. Video game. Videohra. 
video hra. Video game. O víkendu si koupím novou videohru. I'm going to buy a new video game this weekend. O víkendu si koupím novou videohru. Levný. Cheap. Levný. Levný. Cheap. Tyhle boty jsou levnější. These shoes are cheaper. Tyhle boty jsou levnější. Drahý. Expensive. Drahý. Drahý. Expensive. Dům je drahý. A house is expensive. Dům je drahý. Laskavá. Kind. Laskavá. Laskavá. Kind. Je to laskavá osoba s velkým úsměvem. She is a kind person with a big smile. Je to laskavá osoba s velkým úsměvem. Strašidelný. Scary. Strašidelný. Strašidelný. Scary. Temné ulice jsou strašidelné. Dark streets are scary. Temné ulice jsou strašidelné. Odpočinkový. Relaxing. Odpočinkový. Odpočinkový. Relaxing. Neděle jsou velmi odpočinkové. Sundays are very relaxing. Neděle jsou velmi odpočinkové. Libra. Pound. Libra. Libra. Pound. Jedna libra je 16 uncí. One pound is 16 ounces. Jedna libra je 16 uncí. Míle. Mile. Míle. Míle. Mile. Jedna míle je zhruba 1,6 kilometru. One mile is roughly 1,6 kilometers. Jedna míle je zhruba 1,6 kilometru. Stopa. Foot. Stopa. Stopa. Foot. Stopa má 12 palců. There are 12 inches in a foot. Stopa má 12 palců. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Naschledanou! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the two-minute rule to cracking through the hard parts of language learning. 
If you're learning a language, there is a 100% guarantee that you have a whole list of grammar rules or words that you struggle with. Or maybe it's a whole skill like listening. Either way, you're likely very aware of your specific pain points, or you could say the hard parts of the language. But what if you could crack these hard parts and master them with something called the two minute rule? Today you'll discover how to use the two minute rule, why you'll need to apply this tactic daily to make it work, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the writing a journal cheat sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll be able to keep a diary in your target language and talk about your day. Inside, you learn phrases for common daily activities from morning to night. Second, the language learning starter pack PDF ebook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this ebook, you get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Start with these words first. Download it right now. Third, how to talk about holiday gifts. What gift do you want the most this holiday season? With this quick vocab lesson, you'll learn common gift vocabulary like laptop, camera, money, and more. Fourth, do you know how to say November or December in your target language? If not, then this one minute lesson will teach you all the months of the year. Fifth, interested in learning another language? With this bonus, you'll get free access to our other language programs from Afrikaans to Vietnamese. Check out all 34 languages inside. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The two minute rule to cracking through the hard parts of language learning. Part one, the two minute rule for breaking through. If you think about the language you're learning, what are the specific points that you're struggling with? Is it conjugating certain verbs or a certain tense? Leave a comment below and tell us what your trouble spots are. It's practically a guarantee that if you're learning a language, you'll run into trouble from time to time. So how do you deal with these pain points? Well, there's something called the two minute rule for creating habits. If you wanna start a new habit and do something new, do it for just two minutes a day. Once those two minutes are up, you can walk away and come back to it tomorrow. You can apply this very same rule toward cracking the hard parts of language learning. But the trick is you have to keep up with it almost daily or do it every time you're learning a language. How? For example, you can spend about two minutes on creating sentences with grammar rules you recently learned. But why just two minutes? If it's hard, you'd think you'd wanna spend more time on it, right? If you can spend more than two minutes, you should. But the fact is, the parts you struggle with, whether grammar or otherwise, are not fun to do and probably not your favorite things to do. So it's unlikely that you'll put in 10 or 30 minutes towards something you struggle with and don't like. But usually that hard part, if you can master it, will take your language to the next level. So the first reason is the two minute rule makes things easier. If you only have to do two minutes, practicing the language isn't so bad. And second, you could put in more time up front, but that's not the best way. Language becomes natural to us over time, not overnight or after a three hour study session, meaning you have to chip away at it daily. You need time to review, to rest, to let your brain sort it out and come back to practice some more. So what do you currently struggle with? Chances are you're going to avoid these pain points because, well, you'd rather do what's fun or easy, passive stuff like watching YouTube. So that's where the two minute rule comes in. Part two, how to apply this learning tactic. To start, all you have to do is put in two minutes a day or per session if you want to do multiple sessions a day. So think about what it is you're struggling with right now. It could be conjugating verbs, it could be a specific grammar point, or it could be the alphabet for now. If you're using a notebook, which we strongly recommend, at the top of the page, write down the one pain point you want to focus on and just put in at least two minutes practicing that specific thing. You can do more if you want, but keep it short for now and walk away before it feels like a struggle. There's no rush to do it all now. Then at your next learning session, do it again first thing. Open up your notebook, write down that same point you want to focus on, practice it, and then move on to the easier things. And bit by bit, you'll start getting used to the grammar point, the pronunciation, or whatever else that you're struggling with. And it'll slowly become natural for you over time. 
Again, it's not about mastering everything right now, but making it easy to do and putting in the time consistently. The point is not to overwhelm yourself, which can easily happen if you're practicing something you're not good at. The point is to end it before it gets frustrating. And if you keep at it daily, you'll start cracking through the hard parts of your target language. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to reach your goal for the year, the long-term strategy for success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to be able to speak in your target language? Ideally, you'd want a teacher or native speaker to practice with. But if you don't have one, or if you're an introvert who's not ready to talk to native speakers, then good news! There are ways to practice speaking and conversations in your target language without having to speak to anyone. How? Keep watching. How to practice conversation, even if you're an introvert. Today, you'll discover 1. How to use your smartphone to practice speaking, 2. How to immerse yourself in native conversations, and 3. How to get feedback on your speaking without having to speak to anyone. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So how can you practice speaking and conversations on your own? First, you can change the language of your voice assistant on your smartphone. Like Siri on the iPhone or Google Assistant on Android. This is the easiest thing you can do and a good way to practice speaking the phrases you've learned. If the AI can understand you and respond, then you're on the right track. Second, immerse yourself in real conversations with our audio and video lessons. Learning through conversations is the fastest way to learn. And with our special Conversation First lesson format, you learn a quick dialogue in every lesson. All you have to do is listen, follow along with the transcript, and you'll get used to native level conversations. Plus, you'll get every word and grammar rule translated and explained by our teachers. You get these lessons the moment you sign up. Third, shadow the conversations in the lessons. Meaning, repeat what you hear out loud. And you can practice shadowing easily with the line-by-line -line audio dialogue that breaks down the conversation into individual lines. Just press the speaker icon to hear the audio and repeat the line. Fourth, practice speaking with our pronunciation practice tools. Here, you'll get to practice speaking the lines from the lesson conversation and compare yourself with the native speakers. This is also a good way to improve your pronunciation because you can hear how you and the native speaker sound side by side. Just look for the microphone icon inside the dialogue and click on it to record yourself. And fifth, test your speaking skills and get feedback from teachers. With our hand graded assessments, a premium plus feature. If you're learning with our system, you'll get tested on what you've learned with multiple choice assessments and hand graded assessments. And hand-graded assessments test you on your speaking and writing and are reviewed by teachers afterwards so that you can get feedback from native speakers without actually having to speak to anyone just yet. So if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Are there ways to make language learning easier? Is it even possible? Six ways to make learning easier than before. In this guide, you'll discover the six ways to make learning easy, why cheating and looking up answers is a good way to actually learn a language, how to learn from native speakers without getting overwhelmed by their fast speaking, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, how can you make learning a language easier? 1. Learn in small chunks of time. We all know that mastering a language takes time, and this fact alone is overwhelming for many learners. But while it can take time, that doesn't mean you need to study for hours a day. In fact, 
the best way to learn is to just learn in small chunks of like 5, 10, 15, or even 20 minutes, since language learning is a marathon and not a sprint. You'll need to be consistent, and the best way to do so is to do a little bit every day, instead of overwhelming yourself into quitting. Two, have a roadmap to follow. Another thing that makes language learning hard is there's just too much to do and learn. There's reading, speaking, listening, grammar, vocabulary, a million paths you can go down. But if you had just one pathway to follow, then learning would become a lot easier because there's only one thing to focus on. And with our learning system, that's exactly what you get. You get a recommended pathway of lessons and assessments based on your learning level. Just follow the pathway from lesson one to two to three. Our audio and video lessons are just a few minutes long, so you can learn in small chunks of time. And after every few lessons, you'll be tested on the language with our assessments. Three, read along with the dialogues. If you want to learn from native speakers, you'll quickly notice that they speak a little too fast for beginners. You can't hear where one word ends and another word starts. But if you could listen and follow along with a transcript, you'd be able to hear and see the words, pick up every single word, and quickly get used to native conversations. So when you're learning with our lessons, follow along with the lesson notes and the lesson transcript. The lesson notes give you the dialogue of the conversation, plus grammar explanations. And the lesson transcript is just a transcript of everything said in the lesson. Four, get the conversation broken down. Another way to make native conversations easy to understand is to have the conversation broken down line by line so that you can hear each line one at a time as much as you want. And you can do just that with our line by line audio dialogue. This feature breaks down the lesson dialogue into individual lines that you can listen to and includes the text and translation so that you can hear and see it at the same time. Five, have someone else teach you. Learning on your own can also be hard. You'll likely have a lot of questions about grammar rules. You'll feel uncertain about whether you're saying things right, and you won't learn the nuances of words and grammar from a dictionary. So, if you aren't learning with a teacher or a native speaker, we'd recommend you get one. And with our audio and video lessons, which are made by real teachers, you can learn directly from our teachers and get words and grammar rules explained and learn at your own pace. And just like how any good teacher would test you, you also automatically get tested on what you learn with our assessments. And you can even get your very own teacher with the Premium Plus plan. Six, use cheat sheets. Learning anything new can be hard at first, and you'll often be frustrated with the fact that whatever you learn now, you'll likely forget later. But the fact is, successful learning is a result of getting used to the language. You might struggle with words or grammar rules now, but you'll get used to them after seeing, hearing, and using them over time. So that's why it's okay to cheat and take another peek at the meanings of the words and grammar rules you learned before. That's how you get used to the language. And that's where our PDF conversation cheat sheets come in. You can use this free resource to glance through and review words, phrases, and grammar rules until they're natural to you. So if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Is it possible to cheat your way into speaking, reading, and writing in your target language? It is. That is, if you have our PDF language cheat sheets. How to practice speaking, reading, and writing with the PDF cheat sheets. And today, you'll discover, one, how you can add more language to your brain without spending time looking up words in a dictionary, and two, how to improve your speaking, reading, and writing with the cheat sheets. But first, if you don't yet have access to these resources and our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. What are PDF cheat sheets? Our cheat sheets are a quick way to improve your language skills without having to study for hours or spend time looking up words in a dictionary. With every cheat sheet, you get a basic dialogue and must know words and phrases for common topics like hobbies, weather, talking about your day, and much more. And there are over 30 cheat sheets that you can download for free on our site, if you're a member. But how can you improve your language with the cheat sheet? Let's take a look. One, how to practice speaking. 
Every cheat sheet comes with a quick practical dialogue that you can use when you chat with native speakers. But you can also practice speaking ahead of time. Just read the dialogues out loud a few times a day and you'll get used to saying these lines. Reading out loud is one tried and tested tactic for improving your speaking skills. And when you get a chance to speak with a native speaker, you'll be able to say these lines naturally. Two, how to practice reading. You can also practice reading by simply reading through the cheat sheet, the key dialogue, and the words and phrases inside. Just download the PDF to your phone or computer and read through whenever you have a few moments. Or you can print out the cheat sheets and read through them as well. Three, how to practice writing. The easiest way to practice writing is to simply copy out the words on the cheat sheet into a notebook. You can also print out the cheat sheets and write on them directly. And as a bonus, you get to remember all of the words and phrases better. Whichever skill you want to practice, be sure to do it a few times a day every day for the language to really stick. Or just use the cheat sheets to cheat and get the must know words for a topic you want to talk about. So, if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.